No, we're we're Marco's twenty back. four minutes late. You gotta you gotta single line it, Marco. <laughs> so <laughs> you... No, we actually went live like twenty minutes ago. It's just been in yeah, we went live twenty minutes ago. It's just been in the, the pre stream for a while. Um Oh, I need to change that. It's emote only. I don't want that. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me see. Everyone check in. Abigail, Marcus, and Callie. Salutations. Yep. All right, I think the audio is good. And Naz is here, too. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you are. Oh, Can't was I supposed Matthew. to say something? I'm, <laughs> I'm checking the audio. I'm checking the I'm audio sorry. so you don't get 20 yes. minutes in and they're like, so there's no audio. We've been listening for the last 30 minutes, but nothing's happening. I was not aware that was something to mean that I was supposed to say something. Yeah, well, that is you okay. did it anyway. <laughs> it is all right. Okay, so... um. <clears throat> I will give the recap. It's been a couple weeks since we've played. Uh, thank you for your patience in our delayedness in returningness and stuff. Because that makes sense. I'm very good at speaking, as you can tell. It's been two oh, weeks. Yeah. I forgot oh, yeah, how to DM. talk. Quality yeah. speaker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, DM. Yeah, I might have forgotten how to DM, too. Who knows? I might need to have uh, Naz take over as DM. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no play me. All the characters. No. All the I can play characters. one of them. Sometimes two. Only one. Okay. <laughs> my, my limit one. Right, let's see here. Right, I'm supposed to do that. Share that here. So. <clears throat> Oh, darn it. I forgot what I was... There it is. Nope. Good gosh. I know what I'm doing. Obviously. I believe in you, Marco. Thank you. Alright, here we are. Last we left off... <clears throat> this will be a fun recap. Um, yeah. <laughs> Marcus and Sir Wellington on an angry rage mode quest to beat up Abigail for planting occultic artifacts in Marcus's bag, resulting in him being denied entry through the TSA of Sanctuary and getting booted back outside. Sir Wellington being booted because he told he was evil. Um, or evil at heart, evil, something like that. Um... So they traveled across the continent to find um, the uh, Shrine of Ali, um, Ali the Clever. And um, they did. They opened a portal. They went through the portal. And a couple of um, celestial guards turned and engaged them in combat. Marcus was promptly knocked out. Sir Wellington used hellish rebuke on them. <laughs> that went well. Um, and then proceeded to immolate one of the celestial guards with hellish fire. Oh, uh, yes. He's got a great reputation in Celestia now. The gods love him. <laughs> um, that gnome is going to have a great life now. Oh, jeez. Um, hmm. Ali did not help. She chose to Wait, watch me. and uh, then proceeded out the out through the portal where she engaged in combat with Sir Wellington's help with various uh, demons that were pouring through the portal outside. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Before that, Sir Wellington had been bamfed over to this summoning ritual that Abigail was working on to open some portals. Um, which Sir Wellington recognized from that flashback in history as the same portals that opened up in the past, same kinds of same kind of ritual. Um, so he tried to stop the ritual, didn't quite succeed, got banished, managed to find his way back through a portal back to where um, Marcus was. Um, a, an army of demons came pouring out after him. 
Uh, he fought and killed a bunch of demons. And at one point did this really cool running slide, kind of like uh, a surfer escaping away. Like he had this wave of demons just cresting over him and, you know, dog piling onto each other. It, like kind of like a wave collapses behind a surfer as he slid through them. And then he jumped up and blasted them with a spell that basically vaporized them all, which was really freaking epic. Um, and then an army of um, devils showed up, led by the Archdevil um, Hadeon the Destroyer, um, who promptly proceeded to uh, attempt to kidnap Sir Wellington. <clears throat> and... Da, 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 da. What else? Oh, okay. Um, so when we left off, Sir Wellington ran away from the Arc, de Arc, Arc Devil and um, teleported away with Marcus in tow, still dazed and barely conscious. Um, Abigail succeeded in this ritual and communicated miscommunicated a deal that um it's been so long i don't even remember the guy's name histon histon thank you yes oh, histon. that histon was trying to broker mm -hmm. with the arc demon radna was not really holding up his end of the bargain so you say go over radna's head and deal with the demon but because Abigail was the one doing the ritual. She was the only one that could communicate with the demon. So he had to tell Abigail what to say. Abigail said not what he told her to say. Um, and basically pledged his life to serve this demon. In return for her getting a portal back to their own world. So then she finished the, 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 the ritual. The portals stabilized. And uh, Abigail and the other, what was it, six, seven, eight? Um, civilians she had chosen to be the victims promptly turned to obsidian and their souls were siphoned out of their rocky bodies and pulled through the portal into the abyss um, along with the completely physical form <clears throat> of Histon as the portal closed behind them and Rodno was left to do whatever he wished so it's there that we'll be picking up <laughs> um Naz will not be playing Abigail tonight. Naz will be uh, eh, potentially introducing a new character. So you're a liar to me, Naz. You said you can only do one. <laughs> you got two. Dude, how am I going to play her? She's dead. <laughs> I can only play lie. one at a time. Uh, okay, well, that's not what you said. <laughs> you know what I meant. To... Did I? <laughs> I'm <laughs> very stupid. Okay. That's why well, you get to work with demons. <laughs> I know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. We'll Turn betray out. each other at the same time. Well, technically, Histon betrayed her first because she was yeah. always meant to be a sacrifice. <laughs> but then it's like, ha, ah, reversal. You're also a sacrifice. <laughs> right? Yeah. There's There was a Thank lot you. of counterspells just yeah. happening of counterspelling to counterspell and counterspelling to so counterspell. Good. Food. Delicious food. Eggs. Wifey! Eggs Benedict. I love her. There we go. I feel oh, like all my characters Benedict. are just warning other characters like, hey, don't do shit with demons. Right? I yeah. do Marcus. what I want. Especially Marcus. 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 Marcus is like, don't serve demons, serve the gods instead. Yeah. Although now he's like, just serve a god that'll actually damn listen. Right. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm still mad good, about it that. A, it was a good idea in theory. Yep. yep. You're still mad about that. So since it's been a few weeks, um, Selkie, how about you? Hi. We start with you. I don't know what's happening to Callie. I'm very worried. <laughs> Callie about her. has been a candle. She got recaptured and plopped right back in a glass jar. This time she was not frozen in place, though. Um, um, now she's just like an angry pacing candle. Yeah, like Tinkerbell, just <laughs> <laughs> just just squeaking and and tapping. Reduce um, me to to your fineries the what <laughs> yes it looks so pretty it's 
Sorry. Let's take a photo of dinner because it it looks delicious. Type up your wife. Kayla, Selkie says she loves you. I do. I always will. I don't think she heard me. Don't worry, she knows. She knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> Especially after last I, night. I, yeah, after last night. Perfect. You knew I loved her real good. Guys, we have a new thing. Cryless, hello, hello, hey, yeah, frick. What? what? Look what? in the chat. Try again. I sneeze stars just tested for Cryless heroic luck. <gasps> awesome. Love. Callie, okay, to be fair, yes, Callie can eat glass. She does, she does eat glass. Right, Ian? I wish you were here, too. I mean, you're kind of here. And we're glad. You're here in spirit. And in the chat. You know what? Chat. Genius idea. Callie's just going to have the glass. <laughs> you cannot contain me in so... a glass container. <laughs> Fair enough. Just melt the glass, then eat it. <laughs> so you after surrounded uh... me in cotton candy. <laughs> 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 so yes. After, after a couple of weeks imprisoned uh, and under constant supervision, because uh, it's Ka Karina, right? Coraline. Coraline. It's Are you sure getting weeks. your own? I don't even remember my own NPCs. Um, this is why we need to do it weekly, is so I don't forget my own. Uh... Oh, yeah. um, Ian, uh, our Friday night group doesn't have stuff like Bardic Inspiration or anything. They have something called Heroic Luck, which means you save that up and you can use that to re-roll any dice roll once. Or and, use... a and a bunch of other things. Too. And a bunch of other things. It's used for a lot of things. It's like We it, mostly it's use it for really re-rolls. So. Um, nice. Saves your oh. life in a pinch. You name it, it does You can it. use it for an extra life. You can. You can use it for an extra life. You can... Um... Make it so you like your roles are better, or make someone else's roles worse. That's true. Yeah, uh, you can. That's cool. Yeah, it's a great, it's, it's a great, a great uh, mechanic. mechanic. Soda, please leave the window alone, you psycho ass dog. So, oh, go away. Hey, dear Callie, coast. Hello. How'd you like to be in? Uh, you have been under constant supervision as Coraline has been working tirelessly on a project. Um, until one day she is called away by some ruckus upstairs. And, um, <clears throat> you are now fuck? alone. Completely. For the first time in, like, three weeks. No one is super. no one is supervising you. Even the undead left. Golding my child. If he's because I'm on the floor, he's gonna be extra loud whenever he cries. Ah, dog attack. Yeah. My child is just being annoying and hearing things. Don't lick my microphone, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doggos. She's she's. I'm on the floor. She's very close. Shut up. We are going to make an escape attempt. They're not though. Because if I'm alone, I'm going to eat the cotton candy that surrounds me. <laughs> All right. I don't know what kind of check to eat the, <laughs> eat the glasses. <laughs> Roll for nom noms. Roll for delicious. <laughs> Quote of the night. Roll for nom noms. Um, Roll for nom nom nom. Yeah, we'll just do a basic attack roll. Okay. <laughs> when, well, of course. Hey, when, 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 would this count? <laughs> Nerd dad. Dad. <laughs> oh, no. Would this count as an unarmed strike then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Dope. Yeah, let's have the monk do an unarmed strike. Yeah, this will, with my face. She'll totally That's fail. That's wild. Uh, it's She'll... a 16, so it's not <laughs> great. Yeah, no, you easily chew right through the glass first try. Ah, it's almost sick. like you do this for a living. 
It's almost like I do this for a living. And now I have glass in my mouth, so y'all best be prepared. Oh, gosh. So now you are alone in this room. There is a body over on the um on the table. Uh, there are a bunch of other tiny people in their respective um glass jars on on the various shelves, and one over on the desk. There's one over on the desk. Mm-hmm. That seems important. I'm gonna go to that one. Nope, no camera. She's saving her camera for all the crayless uses. <laughs> It might also be that of reasons, other reasons. I know, I know dad just bought me a camera and I'm going to use it. And I swear I do use it. It's still hooked up in everything. However, there are things going on. Um, I will take your word for it. <laughs> any whore. Um, yeah, we're still gonna go to the one on the desk because if it's if he's not like up on a shelf and he's being like actively used, he seems important. Fair enough. Ham's delicious. Why? Yeah. Cool. I have ham for later. This is very sweet. You don't like sweet ham? Mark him. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Selkie says she loves you, but she needs me to focus. I do. I do love you to pieces, Kayla. However, Kayla. it's our time now. <laughs> we have him. <Okay. laughs> you can have him when he gets off. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> He's um, all yours the rest of the week. I mean, I'll have him that's for true. like three hours tomorrow. That's, that's true. <laughs> Until I annoy him on Discord, you can have him for so much time. I was like, we're gonna annoy him on Discord. No, no, we're gonna man. we're gonna yeah, claim always, him on Discord. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. However, <laughs> she she gets the the face to face talking all the time though. You um, get all all of his so, face yes. except for right now. We need his face. Could you um? <laughs> so you're currently up on the shelf with the others other jars that are on the shelf. Um, cool. Because you're still you tiny. To... It it has another like thirty five seconds before it wears off. Um. So what wears off? The tiny spell. Oh, I've escaped the jar. Now I will no longer be tiny. Yep, you have about mm, 45 seconds. Thick. Yep. I don't know this. I don't do magic. <laughs> right? You don't. <laughs> um. So yeah, Um. all the others are, are like, you know, like, hey, eat through my glass that are like on the shelf with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mouth is only so full. Um, you are... From the shelf down to the desk below you, and it's covered in a bunch of, like, dusty books and, like, finished potions that are set aside. Can I try to Little Big Planet it? <laughs> Can I be Little Big Planet? What, what is that? And just use, how, like, do you, how do you oh not know God. Little Big Planet? You need to play Little Big Planet. It's so cute. Um... No, but like using like the fallen over books and jars as like a platformer to get my way down. Yeah. Do some dope monk shit. I mean Dope. Where's my so child? I what I was trying to say is you're you're in a you're in a shelf that's okay, here here's a good example. Alright, so uh nope, that's not right. Uh ye dug on it. There we Don't go. Got no okay, shelves. See, see how we got the shelf up there that's like just screwed into the wall? That's what you're on. And then down below is the desk. So it it looks like you're standing on top of the Empire State Building from your current size. From there down to the table. So give me a give me a investigation check. Let's look for a way down. How good am I investigating? Not without, without jumping off the Empire State. Ten. Ten? Ten. Um, you continue walking around, kind of like trying to find a way down. Doesn't look like there's a way down. Make a deck save for me, please. A deck save from the monk? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Not twenty. Okay. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Just wasted on this. Why don't you? As you suddenly grow to full size while still standing on the shelf, 
<laughs> the time runs out. And the shelf breaks, and you just nimbly land in like this three-point landing on on the dre- on the desk below you. Papers go flying everywhere, and you just go, and now they're just like raining down like confetti around you, as you like blade pose your land, or however Style you want to land. Style <laughs> points. <laughs> um, superhero as, landing. Oh wait, more than that. Um, <laughs> it's also raining jars as you just shattered. <laughs> That entire shelving unit, every glass jar up there just came dropping. All of them breaking around you. This is this is the most delicate rescue mission. Oh yeah, you just yeah you you inadvertently mass jailbreaked everyone. Hell yeah, oh. hell yeah! And in forty five seconds, we're gonna have a bunch of friends, a bunch of people. Um, so yeah, now you can now you can go check out the uh, the the glass jar, the one on the desk that you were so intent on on getting to, um, cool. while ignoring the others that you accidentally freed instead. <laughs> Other question: Is mm-hmm. the little bit of glass that was in my mouth did that scale up with me, or do I have like a tic tac in my mouth now? <laughs> it's like a tic tac. Do I? So I have a glass tic tac. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the, the broken jar glass was the bottle. its own size. It was not shrunk down with you, so it didn't have any need to grow. Okay, I'm going to take some of the broken glass that has fallen from my epic jailbreak, and I'm going to chew on some of that. Just right. pick it up right off the floor because that's sanitary. Hmm. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna go investigate what uh, is on the desk. All right. Inside. Is a girl who appears to be 14, 15 years old. My age. Friend. (laughs) And she is just sitting there and pouting. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna pick her up and dump her out. Come on out, friend. I don't question this. Dump, my friend. Fair enough. She she tumbles out to the ground. With kind of a... No, I'm gonna dump her out on the table. We're not gonna just. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 um. She tumbles Take out all the bludgeoning and damage and just die. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna dump her out on the table. And she just kind of glares up at you and goes. Well, thanks for that. Uh, well, actually, she's really tiny, so it's more like, Well, thanks for that, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of a fun set, guys. Thanks for that. I hate you, high-pitched. <laughs> <laughs> Her voice scaled down, too. <laughs> is it? Or is this personal selfie torture? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um. It's a good question. Now I'm considering it. No. No. <laughs> you've you've already ruined me once today. This isn't once enough. Fair enough. Well, she's out now, so I'm taking her bottle. And in a few seconds she's gonna be big size. So you're keeping Hopefully. the jar? I'm keeping that jar. Ah. As a snack for later. As a snack for later. <laughs> It's magical. Be careful. Yeah, right? no. I don't care. That's You're going to shrink your internal organs? <laughs> it's just magical gum. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Fair enough. She uses glass as gum. She doesn't actually like swallow it. That's smart. <sighs> She's probably pretty smart. Yeah, because she blows bubbles with it. So... Um, last thing I, Callie remembers, the, or last thing Selfie remembers, mm-hmm. what happened to Callie, is having an altercation with Abigail. Yes, yes, you did. Um, that was about that was a couple weeks ago now. Mm-hmm. Um, she left with Micah to discuss something, or well, you don't know her name, but there's this girl about your age in in the room who looks oddly similar to Abigail. Um, There we go. 
Well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be my god. It's gonna be my god. Haha. <laughs> you too, Venus. It's gonna be my god. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> So, where did we leave off? Uh, the girl that you broke out, she's kind of got a little blue blouse on with kind of tattered shorts with a little rag tucked in her belt and some black boots on. And she's got a little red headband in her hair kind of pulling out of her face, bright green eyes, and it looks like her hair is green, but she dyed it brown. Okay, the inverse of what... <laughs> well, actually, I take that back. Multicolored hair is normal in this world. Um, uh, but she appears human, albeit a little bit pale. Mm. More dampiers. Oh, these dampiers. <laughs> dampiers. I have nothing to do with this, I promise. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I like my story. That doesn't mean anything. Marco makes a lot of damn piers too. I do. I make Hell a lot yeah. of damn piers. Nice. Yeah, what is it with everyone to damn A lot of damn piers, a lot of elves. Those well, are probably my two favorite ones to create. A lot of half elves and Azamars. That's true, you do a lot of that. She um I just want them with more spiky things. Fair enough. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Should give them more sharp things. Horns to she, fall. She, she looks up at you and goes, So can you hear me? Can, can you hear me left? I'm going to wait till you're bigger because you're annoying right now. You just ignore her? Yeah. We're going to wait till she's bigger. All right. What are you What are you looking for then? Are you just... Um. Yeah, we had a, we had a conversation with Abigail about an escape. Mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and Abigail said that she had an escape, but she was helping them summon things, and it was like not okay. Yeah, you Callie. had you had an argument about the morality yeah, became... of serving of helping work with like this guy who summons demons in return for getting yep. the portal home. Callie became super Gen Z of I don't need to explain to you. I shouldn't have to explain to you why you should care for other people. <laughs> Which is Super ironic. Gen Z. <laughs> As so many a Gen Z is constantly attacking itself. Every generation I mean, does that, though. <laughs> what to say? Millennials do that all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, I think every generation is like, you should care about other people, but then like always has their own internal prejudices. Yeah, that's just people. It's just people. Yep. <laughs> people. It's just people. Just people throughout <laughs> all of human history. Mm -hmm. Uh, da, da, da. so we're gonna wait until our homegirl's bigger. Are you just looking for useful items in the meantime? Yeah, I can look for some something, something useful. All right. I'll make more investigation to find more things. Correct. Yeah, go for it. Sweet. Roll away. Wow, it's as my as the mighty has fallen, it's a nat one. Nat one. <laughs> uh, you find three potions that look like they're probably gonna be really useful. So Great. You, you can hang on to those. You don't know what they I do, don't... but they look really pretty. One is like sparkly blue. Ooh. Like it looks like it has stardust in it. Um, Cute. Another is this green and purple kind of swirl. Love. And then the last one is this solid black with white dots in it that twinkle like stars. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. This is not for you, puppy. You should get out of my put face. Put that in chat. All right. I am going to need you as you as you get those all at this point everyone on the ground is full size. 
Like a couple se- seconds later, the the little girl on the table is full size as well, and she's like, "Why were you ignoring me? I was just talking to you." Because you were small and annoying. Well, you're small and annoying, and she is actually taller than you. <laughs> Wearing her platform heeled boots, she's a little bit taller actually. You can't than naz me. <laughs> just because you're in platforms doesn't make you taller than me. And they're not even here to hear me roast them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Naz dipped out just in time. <laughs> just hey, to, baby. Just to not hear me roast them. Um, <laughs> platforms. Listen, okay? Besides the point, we need to find Abigail. I'm worried that Abigail, she's going to do something really stupid. And I... Hopefully we can stop her before she does it. Who the fuck is Abigail? And why would I care? No. Uh, short, pale, she's talking about getting us all off the continent, but like in a way that shouldn't be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know her. <laughs> Cool. I know her. You're not helpful. Okay. Oh, wait. Is she the pale one who keeps coming in here? Uh, pale, kind of short, dark hair. Short, dark hair? Yeah. Oh, that bitch. (laughs) Man, Naz is missing the roasting. (laughs) Yeah, Naz is missing all the roasting right now. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her. We gotta find her. Why? Why do you want to find her? She helped keep us in here. <laughs> well, I gotta find her. Hi, wifey. More wifey that I love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Selkie loves you, by the way. I do. We both love you. Oh, Naz and Selkie both love you. We do. Very important. <laughs> we have to flirt with all of our friends' wives. Uh, Selkie she says, Selkie says she, she has to flirt with all her friends' wives. I do, I have to. It's a rule. Maintain Amanda the said, order of things. Amanda said, damn straight. So Hell yeah. It's not. It's very not straight. It's very gay. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I was like, I don't know if that qualifies as straight, but okay. <laughs> it's very gay. Oh, um, Amanda is not straight at all, but yeah, no, she'll definitely <laughs> take it. Hell yeah. So. <laughs> Said, no, we definitely need to still go find Abigail because she's gonna do something stupid. Then let her do something stupid. That bitch deserves to be messed up, like seriously <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, but not when her fuck up means that the rest of us get fucked up. Like, come on now. Who cares? Really? Come on, we just need to get out of here. And go where? I don't know. She walks over and picks up this small. Can I have, um, it's a little, it's, it's like a, a mixture of three different substances. It's, it's the, the actual statuette is gold, but it's wearing like jade attire. Oh. And she just kind of looks at it and just puts it in her pocket and starts kind of like sifting through the different books and, and stuff. Everyone is like potion just, grabbing. Are you just stealing shit? Okay. Well, like, I can't really talk. I definitely stole some shit here. <laughs> yeah, they kept uh, us imprisoned here and experimented us for months. I think we're entitled you, to a little compensation. You Feel great. all the shit. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that logic. Um. Yeah. Yeah, doy. I love her. <laughs> I am mildly irritated and mildly charmed by her. <laughs> I, no, I, lo- I love her. I definitely went to school with her. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I definitely, had, from like, my an- yeah, sorry. definitely had her for like a third period. I remember her from my anime club. I, I'm <laughs> channeling the most stereotypical high school girl that I've ever taught in Florida. For this character. <laughs> Very overly confident for seemingly no reason. Good for fine. her. I believe in her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Oh, she's fun. So, before we get going, 
Name's Asani. What's yours? Callie. Huh. Nice to meet you, Callie. We nice should to go meet you. quickly. We should go. Before some other don't... shit happens here. Correct. Roll a history check for me real quick. Look at me. Oh, girl's so good at history. Not whenever she rolls a fucking two. That's a 12. Oh, all right. Yeah, no. Whee! You're good. Thick. <laughs> we know nothing. We have expertise in history. And we... Oh. we know nothing. Make a deck save for me while you're at it. Oh. So. <laughs> what is happening tonight? I am all over the board. That's another nat 20. <laughs> Hey, okay. Um, she opens her mouth to say something as a bolt of electricity shoots through her midsection. Callie just oh. nimbly ducks below it. Um, she just kind of like twitches for a second and then stops as it passes. And she's like, well, that was fuck fucking weird. Damn. Yeah, you just got fucking shot. I'm good. Are you? Why are there four of you now? Yeah, because you just got fucking shot. I am fine. Now let's go before something else. And she walks right into a wall. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. About half yeah, the yeah. others in the room also are a little bit disoriented. A lot of people have actually already cleared out. Where did the Where did this come from? Seems to be everywhere. Oh, um, cool. Gotta leave the room. It's like, trapped. All, like the entire room is just there's electrical energy just arcing and bouncing off of everything. Cool, gotta leave. Goodbye. Um, give me a perception check. Dope. Perception, perception. Where is my perception? It's kind of shit. It's a 12. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, she steadies herself. Asani uh, steadies herself and, like, heads towards what she thinks is the door and kind of bumps into the door frame again and just starts kind of feeling. Okay. My vision might be a little bit off. It's okay. I got this. I've got this. And she's just like inching her way along. Um, as you are heading to the door. <laughs> I appreciate Ian. you. <laughs> you hear a voice from behind you. Comes oh, from. There's no one else left in the room. You're one of the last ones out. It's coming from the direction of the corpse. Gross. Naz, what is your character's first words as they come to life? <laughs> Wait, where am I? You just woke up on the operating table. Cool. There's a bunch of people funneling out the door as fast as they can. <laughs> is she tied down? No. You're a corpse. Why would you tie down a corpse? True. Okay. Um, she's just going to sit up. And look around in yeah. absolute awe and, like, confusion. <laughs> I don't think she's going to speak yet. I don't know if she knows she can do that. <laughs> Fair enough. But I see this corpse move. Not with the 12 perception. You just... Oh, hell something. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> You just heard something, like a groan or something, from its direction behind you. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I have other things to worry about. There's nothing going on. What would you like to do, then? We're leaving the room. We're leaving. <laughs> just gotta go by. <laughs> room is trapped. All right. Don't mind. <laughs> Um, does she see everyone leaving? Yeah. She's there is gonna... a girl on thorough fire, so she's not subtle. True. And the girl next to her is walking repeatedly into a wall. <laughs> like a oh, okay. Skyrim character. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna, like, kind of, like, shakily, like, I don't know get used to her limbs because uh she is a corpse but they are she is sewn together 
I had to do it. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, <laughs> and she's going to like try to get off the table and stand up. Can she do that? No problem. Or is she feeling weird about it? Give me a dexterity check. Check? Mm-hmm. That's a great first roll. That's a seven. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Callie, you hear this clattering of noise as she falls off of the table and into <laughs> a into a pantry cut filled with um potion bottles that are not yet used they're just empty sitting there waiting for use and a bunch of them come tumbling down and start shattering really no, loud noise more glass <laughs> more delicious delicious glass mm -hmm. um now now we're turning around because the room was supposed to be empty besides the corpse but we didn't bother with the corpse with the corpse, with the, corpse. The, the the corpse that was sewn together from various body parts has risen from the bed from the table and is currently leaning against this ca uh, cabinet. Uh, you're not a corpse. You're not dead. Why aren't you dead? She kind of looks up at Callie and her eyes are kind of like a glowy yellow and she's just kind of like also horrified a little bit. And she's like, I don't know. Why aren't you dead? I don't know. You're supposed to. Give me a history check real quick. Cool. Um, Abigail. Oh, wait, uh, not Abigail. Um, Who? Has... <laughs> <laughs> Who? Abigail's saying right behind. <laughs> like She's Batman. not here. <laughs> no, don't be yeah. here. History it's check. Mm -hmm. 12. Hey. 12. You don't remember anything, really, about your past life? You just have this vague memory of being this, this prisoner. And you were taken by this dampier woman for an experiment and she accidentally drained all your blood out of your body and you remember, <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> and you vaguely Perfect. remember dying oh okay and everything's just kind of a haze before that and after that <laughs> <Until Awesome. now. laughs> okay <laughs> i think kelly is currently not with us Mm -hmm. Yep, just said BRB. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as you're as you're there, just kind of stabilizing yourself, looking on in horror at this teenager who's staring back at you in horror. <laughs> Asani turns around and goes, Oh my god, there's an undead army! <laughs> and turns and tries to run out the door, promptly smacking into the doorframe again. Ah, no, 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 not army. I am only one. <laughs> Hive mind! <laughs> oh god, what did I walk back into? <laughs> Asani turned around, looked at this undead individual, and screamed, Ah, it's an undead army! And then ran back oh, into the wall thinking ow. she was running through the door. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, baby. I love this. To which Naz replied, so No, I am one. No, not and army, she just goes, one. They have a hive mind! <laughs> they have a hive mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tried a so different cool. area where she thought the door might be and just hit the wall they again. Have a this hive poor girl mind. is seeing so many things. Oh. This girl, this girl is so, this girl is so precious. <laughs> kind of a bitch, but we love her. She's a precious bitch. <laughs> like all teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh. Wow. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So. Okay, I'm still caught up by the fact that you're not dead. But, I mean, if you were not dead at your experiment like the rest of us were, we're doing a mass break trying to uh, not be experimented on anymore and trying to stop maybe someone from doing something very stupid. So, what do we call you? <laughs> Me? Yes. Does she remember her name, or is she going to name herself? With the 12? No, Mary she Shelley, doesn't remember Mary what her Shelley, name was. Mary Shelley, Mary Shelley. Okay. Mary Shelley, Mary Shelley. <laughs> I know. I know. a moment when you get to choose your own name in life. She's just reference. gonna. You always can. It is a obviously it's a reference. I did not name her Mary Shelley, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn it! I know she is crazy tall though, like the Frankenstein. Awesome. Yes. You asked me to tell character. I'm so proud of him. I know, right? Yeah. I make sometimes tall characters. Yeah. They just don't have very good luck with surviving. That's true. <laughs> Var's fine. Var's, Var's doing great. They're okay. doing great. Var would have died session four. No, stop if, it. If they passed you are saved no. to not be teleported by Cirrus. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it Anyways. Only because you rolled poorly, ironically, that you no. are still alive. <laughs> not even. No, they rolled great to avoid getting 250 points of damage in one play. Wow. That took heroic luck. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was heroic, heroic luck. luck. <laughs> that did take heroic luck. But you know what? You had it. You did the rules and you did it. You did the thing. <laughs> yes. Do the thing. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. she, okay, she gets kind of like a glazed over look when you ask what her name is or what to call her. She's like, oh shit. Like she clearly like forgot. <laughs> She's like, uh, I. Oh. Hmm. That is a good question. Yes. Yes. That is a good question. <laughs> Usually the first question. Hmm. In polite company. Oh, uh, what do I call you? I'm Callie. She's running into a wall. Oh, running into a wall thinks I am an army? <laughs> yes. I am one person. You are, I have yes, been you are. Newly put together. I love this character. I love this character yeah. so much. But, um, you can call me Dahlia. Dahlia? Sure. <laughs> I like it. I dig it. I'm into it. Short, simple, to the point. I like it. I, I I'm like glad you like with it. her accent, it sounded like, you can call me Doll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Callie goes, Dahlia, oh. sounds good. <laughs> yeah. The opposite Dahlia. of Lola, you can call me doll. <laughs> I am glad that you like it. It's a good name. It suits you. I'm glad. Oh, well, thank um, you. You are very sweet and too good for this world. I'm sorry you were brought into this. Into what? <laughs> <laughs> Callie gets very serious for a moment here. <laughs> Callie gets very stressed. Um, like the star in the Mario movie. Yes. Like <laughs> Luma. <laughs> Luma, yes. Wait, I have. Welcome to the end of days. There is nothing left but eternal torment. <laughs> uh, can I share? I will share her picture. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Call it back up. 
Yes. Freaking <laughs> Bride of Frankenstein. Yes. Of course. Oh, I, love I, had to I love her. I love her. She's so cute. I, I don't yes. know if she eats, but she deserves all the salmon rolls. <laughs> I love her so much. I do too. Thank you, me too. I Look was, at her. Uh, she's so cute and so sad. I, I, I needed uh, to play someone no longer evil. I feel so <laughs> bad. I need to cleanse myself. She's <laughs> a tall myself. bean. She's a yes. tall bean. I want to reach up and give her head pats. That, that Uppies. is... I, Uppies. Yes. Wait, how tall is uh, Dahlia? She's like 6'3". Oh, okay. Uppies. So... Okay, yeah, no, he she's taller than Marcus still. She's not like massive like the original Frankenstein, but she's tall for like a yes. small oh, she's, little. She is exactly a foot taller than Callie. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So I am like literally titty level. No. Yes. <laughs> now Callie has two yes. girlfriends. Of course, that's the first thing that Nat, that Naz, that Selkie would think about. Like, Ooh. listen, my yeah. priorities. Oh my are gosh, straight. you're right. right. No, Ian they're says, gay. Ethan they're very says gay. Dahlia is the undead opposite of Ab- Abigail. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Two undead very characters. Soft. One's an absolute bitch, and one's an absolute bean. Yep. All we yes. need, for, all we need, is for Micah to resurrect Abigail and have Abigail come back alive, and then she'll be the perfect inverse of Abigail. Oh, yeah, because Abigail wasn't technically fully undead. No. Mm. <laughs> but she refused to accept it. <laughs> She's so cute. She, so I, like wish we could, I wish we could show the stream. Well, I did just put it's it in, so... the, uh, in, in, in the server. So okay. You put it in the you... server server? Yeah, so for those of you on the server, actually, let me put a thing for the server. Oh, yeah, the server, denial server. server. Yep, the in denial server. Yeah, the in denial why would I put it in my personal server? That would not make sense. So you got two of them, Morgan. We have. I have two of them. Yes, I do. Um, we should really consolidate, but I almost kind of don't want to. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> it would be too because much work at things. this point. Because of things. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you know what things? Matt. Um, yeah. Uh, on the on the server under the Lost Continent area. Um, yeah, I I put. There we go. I put uh, Naz's new character there. And I think I just... She is much nicer, I promise. A chunk of egg <laughs> you will not like Anger Dad. <laughs> so I will not like Anger Dad. You will not Anger Dad. I will not Anger Dad. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Who's Dad here? Our Dad, our dad is in, in chat. Oh. And one of one of his bajillion tabs. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, huh. Why? Down to. <laughs> wow. Honestly. Wow. Wait, I missed it. What? Wow. Gotta be. Naz is just good and can't play evil characters consistently. Oh no, yes. Naz did a fantastic job. I played Abigail. You, you, absolutely... no, you do. You do the evil end. characters. You do evil characters Naz, very well. Naz, you just feel bad, and then yeah. I cry about it. Yeah. Yes. Naz did the character very well. Just summoned the an army of demons well. and multi multi um multiversal army. Yeah, um, accidentally brought about the apocalypse very via, intentionally. Via sacrificing eight kids. No, six. Was it six? Was Perot six would be people proud. total. Yeah, they were would be proud of you, and that's a problem for me. The oldest was like 18. <laughs> Vladimir would think you're an idiot, but also like, <laughs> he would appreciate the effort, but he'd be like, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot for trusting this guy. Very, very evil. Um, all right, so you guys, I, I presume, head out of the room as the, the electricity that, that brought her to life. Yeah, I am. T- I'm taking my new tall, fresh bean away, and I'm going to protect her with my life. <laughs> All right. Oh, Naz, we have a duo. We finally have a duo. Yes, you do. <gasps> and they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sure, I'm down. 
Everybody <laughs> gay. <laughs> you already Ducky have should... a girlfriend. But girlfriend hasn't been here in like 20 some episodes. That's true. Yes. She kind of just was there and gone. There and gone. Listen, it's not a what? girlfriend. It was a fling. One night stand of a kiss. Like that. Mm. that's mean. Yeah. <laughs> just because you kiss in the playground doesn't mean your boyfriend and girlfriend. Wow. All right. Yeah, I dare you to tell her that. <sighs> if she shows I'll be, up. I'll be the Milo of this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> oh. Oof. Uh. I'll move on after a week. Let's go. <laughs> it's been like also like at least a two-year time skip, though, right? I love you, Matt. I promise. I know. <laughs> two-year time skip? No, it has not been a two-year time skip here. A year? It's been like six months. It's hard to keep up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. Okay. I was like, it's been six months here. It's been two years in the other server. It's like there's a lot. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wait yeah. a minute. I'm pretty okay. sure Callie, Callie was tortured for three weeks. Oh. Callie was tortured for three weeks by Abigail and her dudes. Um, three weeks there. No, actually, it was uh more like seven weeks. Oh, because she was she was there for a month, and then she was let out, and she was put back in for another three weeks. You gave my pure sweet bean trauma, and now she's got to take care of other sweet beans. Like, Although, so okay, if you are going to end up being the Milo of this group, you also have to have a nightmare sequence, though. Like, you I that. love nightmare sequences. You have no idea how much I fucking love nightmare sequences. I have nightmare sequences written up for every single one of my characters. All right, every yeah, single you fucking heard one. Her, you heard her. Nightmare sequence for Vajra. I re- she has like three, okay? <laughs> We, we no, I, I remember your freak out at the nightmare sequence. I'm I'm glad you liked it though. It mm. was, holy crap, it was so long. I'm like, oh my gosh. I have no, I have sent hilarious my written out fanfic. Oh, you have? Yes, my fanfic version of like my novelized version of Bonger's Nightmare. I've written it out and I've sent it to him. Perfect. Damn. That's epic. It's probably buried it somewhere in our very long two conversations we have. Probably. Oh, that, yeah, that, that, that happens. That tracks. So as you guys make your way out, sorry, for some reason I'm having like an allergic reaction to something in this room. Bless you. <sighs> Thank you. It's like it wants not to a fish. sneeze. My body wants to sneeze. You're not a fish. Okay, that is for hiccups. You are not a fish. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys make your way out. Uh, let's tab over to Sir Wellington and <laughs> Sir Wellington <laughs> and Marcus. I don't like that laugh. Uh-uh. <laughs> that was an evil laugh if I ever heard one. <laughs> Although I love how Marcus, Mar- I almost said Marcus, Who? Markham's solution for me being gone oh we're just gonna knock out the guy yeah it's yep. happened like what three oh no i made a joke about that last session i said this is how marcus survives to the end because he knows every time we get into combat except for the first combat and the one versus abio it doesn't really count those first two pieces of combat you fought in all the others you've been unconscious for you just been like, you know, we get, we get, oh, nope, I I have to miss this section. Okay, I'll knock you out. You just auto-survive. Oh, nope, I'm busy. I have to, okay, you auto-survive. I knock you out. Just every time we hit combat, you're like, yeah, I'm just going to be unconscious. I think it's happened three times now this campaign. I do not mean to do that. I want Marcus to, like, wreck some shit, but I'm like, no, I'm always busy during the cool sessions. <laughs> he he just gets instant donked every time. Yeah, we've had we've had a total of four combats, and you've been knocked out for three of them. This is, this no, is your like... plan to survive. Apparently. Hey, it's working freaking great, though. Yeah, clearly. Hey, man, if it works... It's only stupid if it doesn't work. True, but yes, yeah, so let's let's get to where Marcus actually is because I kind of forgot where he is. 
I know he's just sort of so, wanted to, that's about it. Marcus is kind of coming to. Um, he saw Sir Wellington rush in to the uh, the chapel where he had been left after being knocked out by the Celestial Guardians. Something oh yeah, and the Celestials was, ended up being dicks. Something <laughs> big was pursuing. Yeah, and then Sir Wellington killed them with hellish fire, so... Um, Things gotta change. He was just conscious enough to witness that, by the way. He was kind of like, uh, <laughs> what? Um, I'm proud of my references. Yeah. That so, one's just for us. No. Go on. I, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm just sorry. slowly waking up, realizing how much of the shit just made he's in. Yeah, basically, basically. <clears throat> um... He he grabs you and teleports you and you're in this cave all of a sudden. And he he's just barely coming out of it, so he's all groggling you. Yep. Uh... Behind Sir Wellington, Ollie comes in. Your your goddess or your new goddess? At this point, she just <laughs> might as well be like she's she's literally I worship Caliadne <laughs> and she has not answered me. A single time. Time to get a new god. Time to get a new god. Allie is my god now. Yep. <sighs> just he, he'll just slowly wake up and see this, like turn to Sir Wellington and go, Sir Wellington, please tell me I didn't see you, hellish rebuke, a couple of guardians. Please tell me that was a hallucination. He can goes Um and before he can finish this dark shroud appears behind him and kind of grabs him by the hair and lifts him up. Oh, there he goes. As this entity here well, fuck. not good. I am oh so afraid. Oh, get no. oh boy. Let's see. Am I going to find it hot? No. Is it going to be hot? Like. If it's a monster, most likely yes. There's literally only one monster you use. The statistical probability is high. Load, please. Hot. Smash. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I have many questions. He stands smash. at roughly nine feet tall. Hot. Of course. <laughs> and he just effortlessly... Effortless... Effortless... Effort, effort, You'll get it. I believe in you. <laughs> Effortlessly <laughs> Close calms enough. Sir Wellington's head and just lifts him up. Close enough? Yes, yes. Sir Wellington had bamfed twice. Um, so he was like, pump, and then they were in a cave, and then pump, and they're somewhere else. So, yeah, you, you've, you've bamfed twice, so you're very disoriented, um, Marcus. Okay. And... Allie supposedly is there, right? Or is it just this big nine foot tall figure? Should I lady? No, Ali is Ali is there in front of you. This guy appears kind of behind you on the opposite side. Giant woman. Yep. In between a giant, giant woman, woman and a giant yeah. man. <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> wish that were me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Marcus will just. You don't. You don't know my life, Marcus. Mar okay. Marcus. <laughs> oh, so good. I love you so much. I gotta <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is why I have so much fun on our face. Anyway, so he'll just look at Allie. Look at this creature. Look at Allie. Look at the creature and go, uh, how the fuck did I get on that boat? Get <laughs> regret. <laughs> He is so, so much regretted. regret. He got he got shipwrecked. His only sanctuary turned out to be a bunch of were devils. He got mm -hmm. kicked out of actual sanctuary because of a of a bitchy uh damp here. He literally yep. got knocked out in heaven as he was begging for help, and now he's in between a god, a devil, and definitely a hard place. Very hard place. Yep. Mm. Sorry. Can Mark get up to like 
<clears throat> at least attempt to try and help Sir Wellington. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, what's that going to be? I don't know. How do you want to fight an arc, de arc devil? <laughs> oh, fuck, it's an arc devil. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Ma yeah, make a religion check. We are but Let's children, Markham. Why do you keep throwing babies at God? <laughs> right? What the Stop hell? Stop throwing Mar babies at God, Markham. For foreshadowing. So we already lost what? one. We lost one today. We lost two. Well, Rocky's not a baby. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's a that's a unnatural twenty. <laughs> oh yeah. You know exactly who this is. This is Hadeon the Destroyer, former <laughs> ruler of the, I believe, the eleventh level of hell. Former? Another dozen hells. He was second to Zariel herself. So not only do I have an arch devil, I have one of the top bitches of arch devils. He was very powerful. <laughs> he disappeared some 17,000 years ago during one of the cataclysms. No one really knew what happened. He wasn't one of the ones to invade and face off with the Twelve. Okay, so Marcus knowing that, and knowing that there is a goddess right behind him, or right in front of him, yep. he is going to nope. crawl. <laughs> yes. Nope. To put it simply, he's going to go to mommy. He is going to hide behind... <laughs> He is going <laughs> to hide behind Allie because he knows how fucked he is right now. <laughs> how can I help Sir Wellington? Hide. He's like, Go to mommy. Like, this is literally what happens. He goes up, sees Sir Wellington is being picked up by another being. He's about to help, realizes who this is, and just kind of scoots back towards Allie. She's like, oh shit. Nope, nope, oh, nope, shit. nope, nope, nope. Exactly. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> uh, 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 Al, uh, it, it, mm, that, that's, that, that's, that's the, 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 the destroyer. That's the destroyer. Oh, Bad fuck. News I, bears. So now you I, have a pretty damn good idea of why this continent fell so many years ago. <coughs> As he lifts Sir Wellington up to eye height and kind of looks at him, he just smiles and goes, mm. It is good to see you again, Proteus. What's we that? have much to talk about. Proteus? That, that, is, that is not Proteus, that is Sir Wellington. <laughs> is this his first name? I don't know who this Proteus fuck... <laughs> Sir Wellington is Sir. Proteus, your first name. <laughs> first he's name just he's just kind of like stammering. Uh uh. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a you know, that is a mother trucking. <laughs> that is a twenty five insight to see <laughs> if he's lying about that. Don't mind me, boy. He doesn't <laughs> seem sure. Not oh, entirely she... sure if it is his first name or not, actually. <laughs> you no one knows Sir Wellington's, Wellington's <laughs> first name. Not even <laughs> him. You <laughs> celestial bitch. <laughs> Wellington's never getting into heaven after this. Oh, no. <laughs> Marcus probably ain't either at this point. Yeah, he, he... As he sits there and just clings to one of her legs. Exactly. Oh, you know, he's like, I know who to go to. I'm going to get a Looks beat down. The he's won't... just like, hi, uh oh. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to roll for that. Anyway, <laughs> Mark is doing an anime move. But anyway, no, well, he's fully like, hi, New York. You, you can't. Like, he, he has no idea what to do. Like, he is looking up at Alley for help. He's like, because he, he knows he can't do anything. He is not prepared for this at all. Ali will walk over just 
confidently stride over to this arc devil. And she's almost eye to eye with him. She's eight foot something. He's nine foot something. I think she's in heels, so that helps boost her a little bit. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> They're both platforms. really tall. And she looks at him and goes, Put the gnome down. Good to see you again, Ollie. And why would I do that with this little bean? We little have bean. Much to talk about, and he turns to Wellington so he can face them. <laughs> He's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> He's Blink. a scared bean. She kind of smirks and goes, Well, I didn't say you had to put him down right here. Just put him down. Uh, I, I would much prefer if you put him down here. <laughs> she kind of like traces her fingers along his goatee and goes, Ooh. I'll see you back at camp. Wait. Oh, but I have business oh. to attend to. Oh, yo. Quick. Hey, at, yo. At Mar <laughs> Wait, at Marcus? Hey, yo. Wait, what? No. Um, she, she kind of strokes Hadeon's beard. Marcus is, is hey, entirely yo. <laughs> Celestial demon romance into it. it his his jaw time. is to the absolute floor right now. <laughs> Everything is it, enemies to lovers. It, Everything. It, 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 uh, the heavens themselves are it, enemies to lovers. Marcus just like kind of looks down and goes, "Oh my God, I'm questioning everything right now." <laughs> he has so many questions and none of them he wants answered, but he needs it. Hadeon chuckles and says, "Well, have fun with your little pet. Um, I'm gonna take mine here and I'm gonna go have a chat." Mash. Did I just get called a pet? <laughs> In a flash of kind of smoldering smoke, he and Sir Wellington vanish. No, Sir Wellington! What the? Like, now Marcus actually has the energy to stand and, like, running. <laughs> You've lost our son. <laughs> what, the... what the? He just looks at Allie and goes, Okay. <sighs> First off, I know you're a goddess. And trust me. I do respect that. I respect everything you have done for me. I really do appreciate it. And I am begging for forgiveness for this right here. What in the ever-loving fuck just happened? <laughs> you can't are are you God. are you too? Are you Oh, that raises so many questions. <laughs> she leans down and kind of traces his jawline with her finger. Don't you worry he's a thing he's about a... it. it uh, <laughs> he, he, he turns red. <laughs> you, Smash. You you are dealing with like stereotypical sheltered Christian boy <laughs> here. She, and a tall hot woman just talked to him seductively. She of leans course the... forward and gives him a kiss on the forehead and says you just be at the ready for when i need you oh i thought she was about to drop a good boy and i was like oh uh, <laughs> yo i'm not done talking yet oh no. boy he, he just gets further in and goes oh all right uh, <coughs> uh we keep it together still have much i believe to you. accomplish uh, i have a plan I... don't all worry right. You will see together. together. But there is much work to be done. You're going to be a good boy, right? <laughs> he is going to absolutely <laughs> step in at that and just he's just gonna look down ground and go. Y yes. <clears throat> he is clinging to the wall of the cave right now to like 
stand. <clears throat> His legs Smash. are wobbling. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> smash hardcore smash yep she yep, just yep, she yep. just gives him a smash. very charming smile can you make a uh wisdom saving throw with disadvantage for me mm -hmm. oh, whatever no. you say mama <laughs> <laughs> okay well that both of them are bad rolls that's gonna be uh wait what is his saving throw really quick that's an 11 Whatever she says goes. She knows best. No questions in your mind. This is the true goddess. I don't goddess. think anybody was questioning anything. Did... Wait. Okay. Did he just get charmed or is like... Is he just... Did he just... He just <laughs> suffered the consequences of a good boy. <laughs> he just suffered the consequences of a good boy. And he's like... Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's the yes, correct response. Yes, ma'am. Correct answer. Under understood completely. Mm -hmm. Correct. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all said with love. Right. And now <laughs> ironic. Yeah. Matt, do you need I'm a second? Say, <laughs> no, I want to say something, but I'm like, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> put it in chat, please. I'm so curious. <laughs> please put it in chat. <laughs> we are privileged to chat. <laughs> when I stop trying to keep y'all from flirting with every NPC I throw at you. <laughs> now you're like, you will flirt. flirt back. <laughs> and then you flirt back. No, now I initiate so y'all don't know what to do. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Matt. Ironically, so. both are very godly women. <laughs> and one is a literal goddess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Things are happening behind the scenes. Don't even worry about it. We gotta keep it somewhat of a rating. Somewhat of a rating, but yeah. Anyway, let's do, okay. Any whore. Yeah. What what Any happens? Whore. What is what does mommy do? What does she do? Mm, what does she do? She kind of like does kind of a little chin wiggle and then traces her fingers up kind of leaving kind of like up and then flicking his nose slightly. <laughs> you got <laughs> boobs. demeaning. But <laughs> little boop. Yeah, little boop. <laughs> she goes little now I have business to attend to. Yeah, you do. Mm hmm You keep being a good cleric. Mm-hmm. I've been very proud yeah. of you so far. Mm. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Hey, thank and you, ma'am. We'll speak again soon. And in a okay. flash of celestial light. She is gone. Damn, and he hears okay. in his voice in his head. Oh, um, I'm sending you to help one of your friends. She will die without your help. Oh, shit. All right. And uh, so will you if you stay here. Um, Make a perception check for me. Oh, fuck. Uh, hold on. I haven't played Marcus in a little while, so I don't know. <laughs> so uh, many characters. Right? So little time. Uh, that is a 17. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you hear hordes of devil, uh, devilish, fiendish creatures approaching from the outside. Apparently, him tracking you here. He also led his his armies right like, to you. Wait, like outside of the tunnel? Mm-hmm. Outside of the cave. Is there a way to get out through the inside of the cave? No. So he's stuck between a rock and a demon army. Yeah, pretty much. But as they Sick. kind of come around the corner, you feel yourself dematerializing as the scenery shifts. Okay. Callie and Dahlia, as you come around the, the corner, all of a sudden there appears to be almost like a, a Star Trek... Excuse me. <clears throat> um, dang it. I'm not a good Trekkie. I completely forgot the name of the uh, the term. The um. Uh, beam. 
I don't know. No, that's not the term. Beam me <laughs> up, Scotty. That is definitely beam not, me up, Scotty. That's not the term. Teleporter. Beam me up, beam Scotty. Me up, Scotty beam. <laughs> no, beam me up, Scotty beam. Yeah. <laughs> Transport. Transport. Kind of like a. It was something really simple. Um, sort of like a, a, a Star Trek transport as this, like, what appears to be, like, little dust, dusty, starry specks. I'm sorry, Dad. Um, <laughs> so disappointing. I grew up on it, and I don't remember the term. It's been too long since I've watched it. Oh, I know Dad. Star Wars and Star Trek. I used to yeah, Star Trek better. Yeah, because Star Wars it's been is about better. Three, two years. Three I agree, years Naz. I've seen Star Trek. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got lightsabers, bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, Naz is a, is a font of Star Wars knowledge. Don't mix that up. <laughs> yeah, don't. If you want to keep your life, you won't yeah. mix those up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I used to be both, and apparently I forget. Maybe it's. I'm just gonna say it was. I had to work overnights. Ev- all pretty much every night for the last week. Um, so I'm just gonna say it was that. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you can blame it on your insomnia. Uh, is it Kirk rules and Sith rules? Oh no. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what Dad are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Sith rule? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a... I agree with oh, this. Oh, okay. Okay. It's this is true. Sith. Oh, okay. Facts in the chat. I thought he was going <laughs> to say something with Star Wars being the drool and then Star Trek being the rule. No, 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 we no, know no, Dad no. worships at both churches. That's true. Same here. Yeah. I really yeah. need to rewatch some of those. I've seen all the shows except for the newest ones, so I need to go back and rewatch some, or I just need to watch Picard. I haven't seen Picard, so I need to. Do that. I just need to watch Star Trek. Full stop. Complete. Fair. I need to watch Fair. some of the older ones, but I've seen I've seen a mix of them. There are some good ones. Picard's probably yeah. my favorite captain. I think. I know it's homework. It's been, it's been homework for like six months. I, I every still time need to we bring the next generation, every time we bring it up, it becomes <laughs> it becomes homework. <laughs> and I just have to sit here, sit here quietly, and just like accept. <laughs> yes, born stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, so this this transmat tel- transporter effect of, of kind of like uh, it's almost like stardust and just general dust accumulating and forming this shape right in front of you, Callie, as th- Marcus materializes literally inches from where you're running. Uh, make a deck save to see if you can stop from running into him. Marcus with a little bit of a ponytail and now growing kind of a beard because it's, yeah. it's been a while. Six, eight, 16. All right, we'll say that's enough. You kind of like, eh. it's not like super cool looking, but you stop before you run into him. And then promptly realizing who it is and then full arm, watch your spider hug. Wait, what? All four limbs. Where Rapid. the hell am I? Oh! Oh, gosh. Marcus! Callie? Marcus! Callie? You... Marcus! Where the fuck have you been? I don't know. I don't know. I've... All right, well, well, you're here. Oh, you're the friend that Hallie talked about. That makes a lot of sense. All right, we need to get what? you the hell out of... Oh, uh, I, I got a new mom. I mean, goddess. I got a new goddess. Ah! <laughs> New goddess. Yeah. Anyway, we got to get going and uh, who? He's going to stare at Dahlia. Just, uh, this, this is this is my new friend. She's very cute. She's very soft. Her name is Dahlia. She's kind of new. Are we doing uh, hugs or are we? I I, mean, I know him. I, I know who this is. Uh, I mean, if you're a hugger, I won't say no to hugs, but only if you're all right with. Okay, uh, are you all right? You you got. Him. And he's gonna like sort of motion to the stitches. Oh, this I was born with this. Yeah, like he's I gonna... said, she's kind of new. Uh, he's Today. Just gonna... Today. To... He's gonna look at Callie. Today. 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 
Yep. It's Tonight's my birthday. Go- it's her. It's her birthday. <laughs> He's gonna look at Tally and go. Ironically, this is not the weirdest thing that happened to me today. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Dahlia. But uh, as I have said to Callie here, we need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but we're in the middle of trying to do that because I've been in a jar for a very long time. A, time to go. Hey, time do to I go. know that? Yeah, this jar, this, this jar here, and I'm going to blow a bubble. Right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, wait, where the, we're in a, wait, where the hell are we? Where am I? You know, I never really got a chance to, you know, figure that out. I haven't really gotten a good lay of the land, given the fact that I've been in a jar for over a month. All right, all right, I'm just asking to say, let me guess, basic evil bad guy lair, basically. Yeah, Abigail did some fuckery. Abigail's here? Hey, this is my mom's house. I know this. <laughs> um, probably best not to refer to it as such. This this is Okay, where what the fuck mean? is that? Where the hell is Abigail? I have a right mind to put and cave her head in. She is also my mother. <laughs> she is not your mama. Trust me, you do not want her as a mama. She is a bitch. We're not we're not we're not gonna refer to Abigail as your mom. No, you're not. As far as I can tell, it. No, Callie, you're too. This is your sister. <laughs> He's gonna point to Callie. This is your sister right now. All right. And I guess since I'm kind of watching over you, that makes me your dad, adoptive dad. Papa. Papa. Let's go with Papa. All right. <laughs> I'm your Papa. Oh, okay. All right. Now, Papa says. With Callie, we need to get the hell out of here. I agree. I'm going to grab Dahlia by the head because we're already making moves. Grab Dahlia by the head and we're walking. Come on, Marcus, we're going. Right. Leaving the fucking building. He's Was gonna... I born blessed with not layout knowledge? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Make a survival no. check. <laughs> I mean, Marcus can make a survival check. I will as well. I can help. I think Callie actually would have the best chance. Marcus would be doing it at disadvantage. Oh, true. Because he's right. never been here before. You know, it's just like kind of we're going to go, Callie, I know you were stuck in a jar, but do you got a you got an idea how to get the hell out of here? Yeah, I almost escaped once. Oh, good. Now we can yeah. actually escape. Cool. Great. Good times. Uh, so does that mean I get survival with advantage? So are you looking to get out of here? Yes, because you're being assisted by Dahlia. Yeah. And Azani's kind of following behind, Escape. bumping into walls. Oh, uh, it, wait, we it, haven't it, had Marcus. We're like, she's going to go back. Is that girl all right? Why is she bumping into walls? Uh, she got, Miss, she got are you all right? Fine. I'm fine. Do you, do you need me to hold your hand so you know where to go? Ew, no, don't touch me. Don't, Marcus, stop. Don't. Mm. Is, is she like that? Marcus, it's bad enough you're a priest. Don't. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed mm. to mean? <laughs> just just let like... a little energy pulse through me earlier. Mm. And it's kind of mm. hard no. to see now. Mm. Ew. All four of you are old and ugly. She looks at, I... like, Marcus and then, like, to either side of him. <laughs> hey, I am not... I am 25. Wait, oh, uh, so what month old. is it? Be nice to my friend. <laughs> Be nice to my friend. He's Kelly's so old, good. though. I don't he's gonna look over at. He's going to look over at Callie. Do we need her? <laughs> no, she's a bitch a little. Yeah, well, so are you. I, listen, I fully embrace the fact that I'm a bitch, alright? Yeah, well, so do I'm... I. By the gods, what does this not... word mean? It, it's not. It's me. Means super cool, badass, and can do whatever I want because I can take care of myself. Ow! He's and lying. she walks into like a lamp. <laughs> I want to yeah. be a bitch. <laughs> that is so cool. No, no, no. D- Dahlia, honey, you do not want to be a bitch. <laughs> Oh, why bitch not? Is, bitch is not. I have, 
oh my gosh, I did not think I would have to explain this until I had my little kids. <laughs> I got a lot to explain to you that I cannot explain right now. But for right now, you don't want to be called a bitch. For, for right now, for right now, I'm a bitch. You're not. Okay. I guess and, I have to learn to do more cool things. Yes. Once we realize how much cool things you do, you could be pretty bitching, I'm not gonna lie. But we gotta okay. see what you could do. You we got we'll, we'll figure it we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I barely Okay. Okay, 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 okay. She's adorable, I love her. We're gonna keep her, okay? I just had my first girlfriend three months ago, and now I already have three daughters. <laughs> You you work fast, Marcus. I'm not gonna lie. That is not how it works, and you fucking know it. <laughs> but anyway, let, let's yeah, Gally, lead the way. Dahlia, okay, just fall behind us and what was her Dahlia's name? gonna no 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 Dahlia's gonna stay with me. Okay, Dahlia, stay with Callie. Callie, mm -hmm. uh, who's Miss Runs into Everything's name again? She's like. Hugging a wall and just feeling it as she's moving towards them now. Azari. Azari? It's Azani! Yeah. Gods. Okay, Sorry. Azari. You weren't even hit and you can't get names right. I don't <laughs> care. I literally could not care less. Well, you right, suck it. I know, that's why my name is four letters. Easy to remember. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, Azani mm -hmm. just... Could Try to keep up. That's all yeah. I'll say. Okay, fine. Survival check of an 18. Nice. Uh, I have a 24 to history help. Check. Hmm? Nice. nice. What was Wait. asked? Wait, can Marcus heal the blindness thing? Is that like a le lesser restoration or greater restoration thing? Yeah, actually, he probably could. Oh, smart. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, child. No, Mar just let her bump into things. <laughs> Mar Marcus will let her bump into a few more things. Just to, yeah, discuss you with that. And then he's just going to, like, just put one finger on her. Uh, I, I guess just, would it take lesser restoration or greater restoration? Uh, let me see. I think lesser does blindness. Lesser does blindness here, right? Yep. Okay, so yeah, he's just gonna let her run through a few more things for humility's sake. But then he's just gonna, like, just kind of... <laughs> he's just so done with everything. Take the amulet and just kind of, like, gently tap her head with it and cast Lesser Restoration. It's like, Sana. <laughs> there. Now you can see. <laughs> what, was, uh, uh, what was his history check? So oh. Wait, my history check? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do a history check. Hold on. You roll a history check. All right, I'll roll a she history like, check. She like takes his hand oh. <laughs> and like lowers it down and goes, "Oh, oh, Markham, you are really cute. Thanks. Uh, that is me a and, eighteen. Me and Dad are on the same page. Me spends whole life trying to be cool. Consistently gets you're cute. Oh. <laughs> you're so cute." failed but it's okay um i'm embracing it now there so that was again? an 18 18 um she 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 takes his hand and lowers it and goes i i said don't touch me but thank you but why didn't you do that earlier mark is just gonna smile and keep walking and it's asani not azana okay asana Oh, Azzy, come on! <laughs> come along, Azzy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll tell you when you're older, Markham. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, there it comes. We'll, I have a knee, a sneeze, we'll tell you when you're 20 older. minutes. Um... I've hit puberty what? like twice. Are you guys talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> well, we'll, um, so, we'll tell okay. you when you're older. So first of all, are you guys trying to get out, or are you trying to get to Abigail? Uh, I 
think we are trying to... No, I don't to... think Naz gets it either. We're both lost. Oh, boy. There's no way. Um, I think we're trying to find Abigail, because Abigail's doing shenanigans that needs to be stopped. And Marcus needs to whack her across the head. We but... need a bunk. Yeah, I'll... Punishment bunk. Rolls... You do rolls for a second, I'll be right back. I gotta go give my fate Tylenol and... Uh, drink, so okay, um, back. as you go, food for thought, you recognize the name of Zani with that history check as the name of the kid that Briar was looking for. He's going to just stop, <laughs> turn. Do you know someone named Briar? You know Briar? Yeah. Holy shit, you're the kid he she, he's looking for. Well, your doy kind of brought her along with me. <laughs> uh, in fact, and uh, it is amazing how much a little thing can be snuffed out so quickly. And he's just going to turn away. <laughs> I can't have the slightest bit of sympathy for her, but she's just such a bitch. <laughs> she's such a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, I will be right back. Markham, we should go on break. We're about halfway. All right, yeah, we'll go on a five-minute break now. Um, I'm going to look up common words in England that ruffle feathers in no, the U.S. No, Markham, just look, just look at the Zoom chat. Yeah, she put it, she told us. Oh, you put it in the Zoom chat. I did put it in the Zoom chat for you because I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's a common word? Yeah, it, oh, buddy. Huh. <laughs> you don't watch a lot of British television. Not real. Well, they say more. I think. No, I read a they lot of it... British written books, but they were all written in like 1905 or earlier. Um, okay, I you used, don't know. I used ejaculate regularly to mean throwing something. No. Or no, throwing That's up something. Not what that means. Um, <laughs> not anymore. Um, <laughs> Mark, I'm going break. Yeah. Send us some break, please. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> go on break. <laughs>
is because their name for turtle is shield code. Shield mm -hmm. code. That's is smart though. Turtle. That is that's that is, a yes. really good name though. That is if the you, most badass name for a turtle though. A it's called code. no because the the German word for for turtle is shield code. If it's literally shield toad. I mean, That's... it makes sense though. They're all pruny like toads, and they and have, a shield, they have a shield on their back, so it makes they sense. They have a shield. So everyone, we're back, and uh, now I'm. We're talking about shield toads. We're talking about shield toads, and I will defend the name of my new species, which is in German, and we won't go into that now. But yeah, it Sounds also like long. listen. It it is everything. Everything with that has to do with penis. Even in even in Russian, it's a garden hose. Ah. Like, well, the Russians and the Australians um, can go suck a you know what. Go, go suck a slongre. <laughs> yes, can suck a garden hose. The slongre are a very dangerous arachnidian centaur snake species. So arachnidian. Yeah, they have eight limbs. I you could arachnid. Yeah. Arachnidian. Yeah, arachnidian. Arachnid. Arachnid is already. Yeah, well, that, 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 you're adding too many things. You're adding too many things. Yeah, now let's Hold get on. back to escaping a doom tower or finding <laughs> Abigail. No, I need to find out the German for if Schlanger is like. Marcus needs to needs to be a, a slap happy clown for a second. If it is a shield crow, and I definitely misspelled <laughs> source not. like a mother trucker. Ah. If it's a shield crow. Word history. Word that's what I need. Slugger word history. German German word history. If anyone's been 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 doing dropping acid, it would actually be be Selkie's characters because you just cast an acid spell recently. I did. I know it did campaign. really good. Mm -hmm. I did it really, really good. Yeah, you only melted I had shield throw. This is very shield throw. Yeah, thanks, Dad. That's what I said. It's a shield throw. Oh, that's such a cute name. Okay, now I need to make a species with that name. That's really It's cool. a shield throw. It's a shield throw. They're great. They're so cute. Which is why I'm trying to find out where the German word for snake came from. It came that's... from slango. That's awesome. Huh. The word slango. That's with the snakes. That's... Okay, oh, the snakes. Um, are you, uh, Kelly? Are you trying to lead everyone out of the castle or to? We're Abigail? gonna go find Abigail. You're We're looking for Abigail. Abigail. Okay, so it takes Adam you some time, but you finally make it up to this room. The door is shut. The way is shut, and none but the dead shall open it. No, I'm kidding. And standing at the door are two dead that open the door. No, I'm kidding. But there are some dead there. Um, as you come around the corner. Um, you guys are not stealthed, so they very much see and hear you coming. <clears throat> Turn undead. Destroy undead, actually. <laughs> Destroy undead. Yeah. Give a... Oh, wait, wait, no. There's an undead right behind me that's a friend. <laughs> wait. I'll hold on to her. <laughs> wait, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he goes like, wait a minute. Uh, Do I count as undead, or am I like a dampier? Uh, you are technically undead. So yeah, no, not stand doing over that. there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not doing that. Yay, I do get to have the combat encounter. <laughs> thank you, Naz, so... for foiling your plan your own plans. Uh thank you oh. for making another undead so unpredictable of you, Naz. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I guess oh, he still has the he still has the oo woo hand. He still has that. You still have the Uwu hammer? I still have the Uwu hammer. <laughs> so. So. He, he is Everyone going to take... roll initiative. All right. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, initiative. I was just We haven't done this in a hot minute. That's awesome, actually. Okay, that is a Ooh. unnatural 20. 22. I got, I got a 14. A 14? Yeah. All right. Well, they got a six, or five, and a four. That's okay. Oh, there we go. 
So they still all go after you guys. The best one rolled a 13. Oh, wow. Um, okay, who rolled the highest? Dahlia did. Dahlia, you get to go first. These these undead, seeing you coming, are readying their weapons like they're about to charge at you. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, woo, hammer 40k. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure that she would attack just yet. You can hold your action. What would you yeah, like to she's hold your action until? Someone, she realizes we're attacking and we're being attacked. She might just walk, like, are they, they're undead, like, more undead than, less intelligence, I guess, than Dahlia? Like, zombie or, like, they these look are, like they can talk? These are just straight up zombies, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And what are they guarding? They're guarding the door? Yeah. Okay, so she's just gonna, like. Oh, excuse me, we're trying to get to the other side. Can you just, uh. Don't think that'll do anything, they, so I'll hold they my charge. action. charge. <laughs> yeah, they, they charge, like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 all right, now yeah, just stay behind me for right now, okay, sweetie? She's just out front, approaching them friendly. <laughs> Do we hit them? <laughs> yes, yeah, hit we them. hit them. Ah, uh, okay. 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 She can I hit am going to actually allow one to hit you with this amount of time you guys sure. are talking to each other. <laughs> Do we hit? Does a 14 hit you? Oh, no. that's a 15. No. Oh, nice. You turn and say, do we hit them just as it slashes down? It would have cut you like this, but instead it just hits air right as you turn. <laughs> you don't even see. It's just like whoosh, right behind you. <laughs> There's <laughs> back around. <laughs> it's just... already like pulling it back for another attack. You just see it like it's like standing there. You completely missed it. Okay, so turn oh. back around. So you're holding... And no, if you said sh we hit them, she'll hit them. Oh, okay, yeah. With... Alright, go for it then. Uh, so I, ha I have, like, the basic inventory. Can we say she found that in the lab? Or does she yeah. have nothing? Okay. You can pay, you, so... could, you have passed through, like, armories and stuff on your way up okay. here. So, yeah. You, but you okay. scavenged your stuff on the way up. Okay, so she'll hit him with the quarter staff. Oh, a quarter staff you definitely were able to find in the lab. Just That's a walking a 12. stick. <laughs> yeah. A 12? Yeah. A 12 hits? Oh, cool. Why is it two different damages? Oh, because. Uh, oh, if you two hand or one handed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, she'll two hand. Is a D yeah, two hand is a D8, so you're going to want to do that. Sure, let's two-hand it. You uh, turn around and bop this guy. Two whole damage. You turn around as it is readying to attack again, and you just. <laughs> and... She's gonna. She's gonna go hey and kind of bonk you <laughs> on the head. Hey. <laughs> and she's kind of like. Err? <laughs> Doesn't really seem bothered by the attack. Just confused. Yeah, it's a D8. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. She's so cute. Okay. Is it that's... Marcus's turn? Yeah, that's my yep. turn. Okay. Mark is gonna go. That's a good that's a good try, Dally, but you gotta hit him like this. He's gonna take the aberrant morning star and hit the zombie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, that's a nat 20 for the hit. Ooh. You sure it hits? <laughs> that misses. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, uh... It's going to use a legendary resistance to just hey, yo. not get hey, hit. Hey, hold on. I'm kidding. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> the zombie? When the you common your... zombie has legendary resi actions and resistances, you know something's up. No, I'm kidding. Yep. 
So yeah, it takes a total of you already 17. Did this. So that's going to take a total of 17 okay. damage. How do you want to do this? He's just going to, like, as he's talking, he's just going to literally just smash the head. <laughs> just, like, briefly smash the head, and then he's going to cast a spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Nice. And then attack another one of the zombies. So, and... as, as you know, you, you bap it, and it's like... And it's, like, just very confused. And it's like... And it's like trying to decide if it should just attack back, and then all of a sudden his head just gets squished into its shoulders by by Marcus's Morning Star, and it's just like standing there and just kind of like swings at nothing for a second, and then just keels over, <laughs> just like that. And and he's gonna cast it to oh, I guess damage. Okay, yeah, he's gonna cast it to the fourth level to hit another zombie. Uh, that's a 23. That hits. And then... Okay. Oh, damn. That is a total of 17 damage. How do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Destroy them. Another... And as he says this, another morning star just appears out of thin air and basically just baseball bats the head off of another zombie. The the body starts like feeling around trying to find the bo- the head that has <laughs> and the body like finds the head, picks it up and then just kind of like tries to put it back on, stumbles and then collapses to the ground. <laughs> See, now you got to do it like that. You got to put some real oomph into the swing. But good try though. Good try. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. And then, yeah, that's all he can do. All right. Um, Selkie, I think it is your turn. <laughs> yeah, he gets combat. Because he just killed the one with the 13 initiative, so. Yeah, he gets combat. <laughs> Yay. You know what Callie's going to do? What? I would like to rage. No. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> you think a monk hasn't taken levels in Barbarian? You are wrong. <laughs> oh no. Everyone's so, oh, so scared. <laughs> they Thank so goodness scared. this isn't an enemy you have to fight. <laughs> or is she? <laughs> or is she? Will Kali turn out to be the big bad? Who can say? <laughs> <laughs> Will Selkie turn out to be the big bad? This seems to be the running the running problem is Selkie just being We just <laughs> We just tackled bad. the issue of a player. We literally just did. So <laughs> yeah. No more of that, please, for a whale bit. <laughs> yeah. Um did we? Did, 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 did. Did, 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 did. I am going to rage and then going to quack with my great axe. All yes, right. she has a quack. Roll away. for whack. Roll for whack. Roll for quack. Roll for quacking. Most that's, dangerous spell. Whack. That's, that's, quack. that's, that's, Ow, that's an eight. Back. I don't believe I don't believe an eight hits. Uh no. No. You kind of like swing and you're certain you've hit this skeleton. Great. And then you look and you're like, oh, I punched right between its ribs. <laughs> mm, problematic. You stabbed uh, that's it okay. in between the ribs. Yep. In between the ribs. But that's fine, though. I'm just going to swing again because I have two with that correct. Swing it again. This time, 23. Hey. Oh. Yeah. That hits. 23 to hit. Give me, give me, let me roll damage. Fuck yeah, five. <laughs> hey, uh, okay. It looks a little bit hurt. A little bit annoyed. Uh, now it gets to attack. Yeah, come at me. Oh, does a 15 hit? Tally? Yeah. Nope. All right. That's its turn. Next one comes up. 
Wait, there's. I thought there were only three. There were four. Oh. Okay. Four, five, six, thirteen. Okay, time to cast. Does a nineteen hit? A nineteen does hit me. Ah. And it deals. Nine points of damage. I will take four because I am raging. <laughs> well, you always round up when it's an odd number, so it'll be five. Then I'll take five. Mm. Five. No, that's not bad. Let's see this. It's like, you dealt. No, they can't speak. But it's thinking. Uh, no. It uh, can't think. uh, if it could uh, think uh, and if it could speak, it would brag about how it just avenged its brother. Because you dealt five to it, and then it dealt five to you. Literal eye for an eye. You know. Yeah. You know. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> now we are back to Dahlia. Mark's gonna go. All right, Dahlia. Remember what I said. Real oomph. Okay. Swing for the fences. Uh, she's gonna cantrip primal savagery and she's Uh gonna just she's gonna claw at him and bite him and whatever so that's uh 22 to hit that hits hot smash and (laughs) enough that is gonna be (laughs) 17 poison or acid what's this (laughs) Acid damage. Acid. Okay. Good thing it's acid because poison is something they're immune to. Oh, um, it's acid damage. Because undead yeah, don't breathe. Um, so acid, um, you attack this thing and you claw at it? Claw and bite and whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's, for, okay. it's savagery. It's um, all of yeah. the above. Yeah. yeah uh, she just so goes this, for this it. This full. undead kind of goes a little bit almost freakishly primal her fingernails almost seem to grow into poison tipped claws or something acidic is dripping from them and she just this this green oh slime like saliva just dripping from her mouth as she attacks this one claws at it bites at it and it it would scream if it could but it's you know <laughs> if it could. melted and it just kind of goes, <laughs> And just kind of melts <coughs> as as just like this corrosiveness comes from the green acidicness, acidic goo, and just it it crumples into a pile of bones that are slowly kind of burning away in this acid. Uh, Marcus's one eyes just <laughs> Marcus's eyes just kind of grow wide at this. Like that'll do it. Wang for defenses. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. Um, Dahlia gets to attack. That's a miss. Dahlia does not get to attack. Not Dahlia. Azani. Oops. Azani. <laughs> Azani oh, ran up and she swung at the one and completely missed it. I skipped her. Sorry about that, Azani. Good job, Azani. Nice. You're still useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So there's one left, right? Yep. Okay, Mark is just going to go up to it and smack it with the Morning Star. That is a. The Uwu? No, not the Uwu. Not the... That will be like for more epic battle. That's not <laughs> They're not worthy of Uwu. Uh, so that's a 23 to hit the zombie. That hits. Okay. Damage. Holy crap. That is a. Uh... Uh, math here in my head. That is a 15. All right. All right. Then, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Just to add an insult to it. Oh, that is a nat- that is an unnatural 20. So, kill yeah. him. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, that is a nine. That is a 17. That is a 19 on top of a 17. Thanks to the. Hey, yo. Thanks to Damn. the uh, spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
Like he's not going to waste the weapon. He's going to use it. So Fair enough. He bas- basically like he's pulverized him. Yeah, he's hitting the zombie in the head with the actual morning star as the uh, spiritual weapon just comes in from the other side and hits his chest, just absolutely obliterates his zombie. The, yeah, so the chest just caves in what's left of its rotted innards, just like blow out the back. The skull just blows mm-hmm. up like a watermelon, just pff, brain matter and everything everywhere. Um, the lower jaw just kind of like. Eek. And what is left of this thing kind of like. Whoosh, Kind of like the ragdoll effect in a video game, like Skyrim. If, if yep. you get a really weird kill, and it's just like, wee! <laughs> really good description on my part. Mm-hmm. Um, very, very, Matt Mercer I mean, must be yeah. jealous of my descriptive skills. <laughs> he should be. Uh, I'll just very dramatically reveal. This is how it dies. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, you sound like a kazoo falling downstairs. Right? <laughs> Mark's just going to look at the absolute uh, yeah, the thing, slaughter that he did and go, Hi. All right, that was a little bit Hi, too baby, much, Joe. I do admit. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off for his new undead girlfriend. His yeah. child. His, his child. child. Yeah. <laughs> his child. My girlfriend, his child. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm already calling. Oh, okay. Dibs right yeah, get now. with the system. I'm He's with the dibs. god and the. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm already calling. Now, dibs. I'm with the goddess and I'm with uh, Sorsha now. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? I have been claimed by two women. <laughs> it's true. But um, women. Okay, combat is over. Um, we survived. Asani kind of like glares at Marcus and goes, "I had that handled, you know." Did you, though? Uh, shut up. Didn't look like you had it to me. Yeah, well, not Just like you had yours me. either, so... Uh, I killed mine. Oh, God. That's the beside trigger. the point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Allie, give me It's okay, you'll get the next one. Maybe. All right. So, what are we doing here? Are we? Are we're we still doing... finding Abigail. Yeah, we're finding your your weird friend who's not mm-hmm. your friend. Not friend. My friend who's not my Next friend. Next target. That's okay. a better way to put it. Fine. I think this is a really bad idea. And your opinion has been noted. Yeah. Anyways, well. we're still gonna go find Abigail. Right. Uh. I'm guessing it's behind the door where, uh, where the zombies were guarding, right? I would assume. That would make the most sense. Probably. I mean, it would be stupid to guard a door for, like, you know, no other reason. He's just going to look at her and just turn to the door. <laughs> is it locked? It is locked. Okay. Ooh, uh, I can pick locks. Well, I could... All right, pick a lock. <laughs> He's gonna step outside and let Callie do it. I can pick locks. Can I? I can't. I don't have tools. I think maybe there is this trick that you can do, and you you knock, and sometimes it opens from the other side. Um, um I. Elliot, do you, Do you want to explain or shall I? <laughs> Dalliot. You know what, Dahlia, I'm curious on what you mean by that, and I'm going to let you do this because I want to see you do something. And I think, you know, I'm curious. Marcus will just look at Callie and goes, can we do that at a time where we might not get attacked? What? Do you want me to melt the lock? Can't, you can, can you do that? Sure, I don't see why not. Fine. You can try and melt the lock. If you can't if melt I the can... lock, I'll break the door open. All right. Okay. 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 Um, I have burning Wait, hands. Are we gonna let her knock first? Uh, Dahlia, I promise we'll let you knock on the next door. That's safe. All right. Just this one. There might be something dangerous behind it. And I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, but we're going in anyways. <laughs> See. We're opening the door, though, so 
we can anticipate. No, I'm not explaining the logic. I would, are, I understand. would still back up just in case this door is trapped because you know that's a but thing. If, if it is trapped and they open it, they get trapped. Not quite. Oh, oh. More like, more like, if oh, it is trapped, then if it is trapped, and we do this wrong, and we open the door, then we get hurt. Okay, so now you're me, okay, now you two are making me worried about traps. Hold on. He's going to, like, look at the door to see if there's a trap now. Roll investigation. All right. Marcus, I know you have a decent investigation. You're, like, my only character that has a good investigation. So come on, man. All right. That is a 17. <laughs> Uh, there are no traps. Sick. He's gonna look around at the door and go, and just kind of pat Callie on the back. Go, all right, you can do your thing. Sweet. I'm going to do my burning hands. All right. I'm going to grab the handle and burn it and melt it. Goop. Okay, the handle is melted. Great. Yes. The handle. Melt. Mark, no, now, it... now I can get it open. Melt the whole lock. The whole Mark, configuration. Great. It is. It is melted. Great. Yank that door open. Cool. It doesn't budge. Well, you motherfucker. If melting the lock doesn't move the deadbolt out of its position. <laughs> sure, it does. It liquefies it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's. I know of someone who's trapped in a burning building. It simply solidifies. You know. That's not the, the same. It's the different kind of concentrated heat than the actual. Are you controlling where the melted? Are you like shifting it yourself as you do it? Yeah, it's burning hands. I can kind of hover it. Can move it places. You want this lock to make a dexterity check of fourteen to avoid it? <laughs> no, no. Just... Are we arguing real life physics of a world that has magic in it? Yes, yes, I Are am. Are you arguing my magic physics? I mean, physics? I understand what Mark means, so it would just melt into more mo right. metal in the same place. Yeah, exactly. Scoop. Make it. Unless I'm you melt. Scoop it. Melt it, scoop okay. it. Melt it, scoop. Okay. Oh, man. All right, if you're melting and scooping it out of the way, melt, then scoop. that would work. Don't touch this. There we go. So. Okay. It takes a bit of work. Yeah, it melts into slag, right? Yeah. Which wouldn't necessarily remove it from the door unless you're you're pushing the door Goop. open before it resolidifies. That's the key part. But it'd be just reaching, melted, grab it like slime and Okay. Okay. Put it yeah. in Tupperware. That works then. That works then. Uh, you were able to get the door open with little to no problems. Hell yeah. Marcus pulling out the uwu hammer as well. He's going to double hand. All right. You guys head in. And there are a number of people shouting at you from uh, across the room. Oh, well, actually, I take that back. They're just staring kind of in stunned silence at first. And then Hi. when they see that you are not members of this group, they start shouting for you to come unlock their jail cell. It's maybe a half dozen or so people. It, oh, other, right. other survivors from the uh, shipwreck actually recognize a few of them. Oh, that this is what? Y'all are all right. That, that's where. Except for is. one, there's this one teenage girl who looks. But you haven't seen her before. Have I seen her before? Are you coming back with a vengeance and making me choose between my two girlfriends? <laughs> no, no, it's no. Okay. Already? Right. Already. Right now. Already? Not yet. <laughs> no. So, yeah, as soon as the door is open, Marcus is like... I chance to be my oh my. Is Yeah, right? Is like <laughs> sort of doing the action movie thing where like he's burst through the door with the... 
with his shoulder and like he's gonna get ready. And he just looks goes Uh Hello Oh, hi. Y yes. Uh Kelly, we need find a key or something. We're we need to help people. He's gonna go up to them and go, wait, is this place safe to move around? I don't think any place here is safe to move around. Hold on, I'm gonna do a perception. All right, perception, perception. check. Oh, thank the heavens, that is a f twenty-one. Okay, as you look around, there's no one else here. There's a little alchemist's laboratory, kind of off to your left <laughs> in the large cell there. In that cell is the one girl. On the other end of the cell, there's this like mostly decayed, eaten, destroyed. I don't know. There's a corpse on the What's other up? side of the cell. It's not alive. And she's like in a ball on the far end of it, away from the body. Um, and then in the other cells to your right, there's about a half dozen or so shipwreck survivors that you recognize several of. Um, and as you're kind of scanning, you glance back, and beyond the alchemy lab to the left, there's a door leading into another room, and there seems to be some arcane energy swirling in there. And then you see this individual, this hooded individual with legs that look very lion-like kind of lion-like paws for his feet um except oh, the reddish no. fur and he walks past the door and then pauses and spin turns around and your eyes meet and you could swear He smiles. You can't tell because he's wearing a mask over the lower part of his face. This large, toothy grin on the mask with tusks um, on it as well. Decorative. Um, and then he he proceeds on into the room. Continues walking past that doorway. Carries about his business. Yeah. Doesn't seem to mind your existence. Hmm. Marcus will just kind of watch Shifty. this happen. Turn back to them, like the group, and just kind of look and go, Who the fuck was that? Like, can he see any recognizable thing on him? Like, tell him who the hell um, this is. He has never seen anything like this before. Um, he seemed to have almost a symbiotic tail attached to his backside. Um, mm. This uh, inky, sludgy, <laughs> <slushy>, sludgy <laughs> black. Tentacle We're babies. Tail. We're babies. You can't stop throwing babies at God, Mark. I am two hours old. <laughs> <laughs> but stop he doesn't throwing seem babies to pay at you God. Mind and just goes along his merry way. That doesn't mean anything. Stop throwing babies at God. <laughs> does does he does the figure look like if he frees the prisoners they'll get mad? He does not seem well. To. I mean. <laughs> What are Callie is what is Callie doing? Is Callie helping the prisoners? Um <laughs> Well, yeah, Mark, Marcus did say go find a key. It's like all right. Um go find a key. Yeah. Azani is actually actively trying to pick the lock. Um doing her best. Um actually I should oh, roll for go, that. She's gonna go find a key. I'll roll Oh, that Nat twenty, yeah. With uh, she just like pulls out her thieves tools and like tink and easily the the first cage door swings open. So while you're making eye contact, you hear tink, and a bunch of people start pouring out, <laughs> and that's about when he smiles subtle. and goes on his merry way. So Not yeah, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't care. <laughs> he Marcus, knows what we're doing. Yeah, Marcus will see this and just go look to uh, all of and go. All right. We need to be quick. And he's going to try and help the next people get out. Uh, by breaking the lock with the war, the war hammer. See if that helps. All right. Uh, I guess roll to hit. Yep. Roll an attack. Uh, that is... How much do I get with the ubu hit? Well, actually, I should say roll a strength check. Because you're going to oh. hit regardless. It's not moving out of the way. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. That is a uh, 21. Okay. Yeah, you 
you break the lock and you're able to swing it open. Uh, how many more are there? Uh, just the girl in her own cage with the corpse now. All right. He's going to walk and go, hey, I'm, I'm a friend. Don't worry. I'm going to help get you out. All right? Uh -huh. Hey, just look at me. What's your name? Punch the lock. Um, M M Mava. Mava, that that's a pretty name. My my name is Marcus. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice. Now, yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna get you out, all right? And he's gonna. Again, strike the lock. All right, strength check. Yes, that is an unnatural twenty. All right. This lock seems a little bit tougher, and it kind of bounces off of it, but you put a dent in it. All right, one more time. Oh! Yes, that is a natural 20, so okay, 24. Okay, yeah. Jeez. The second time you hit, first time you hit it, and it's like, oh, this is a tougher lock than usual. And you swing again, and you crack through it. And the door swings open, and she kind of sheepishly makes her way to the door and out of out of it. All right, is that everyone? Uh, that is everyone. Everyone's out. All right, he's gonna come in and go. Doing good. You just gotta get out of here. All right. He's gonna keep an eye on the corpse in case it like tries to come or attack mm, or something. It's dead. There's flies buzzing around it. Zombies can have flies buzzing around them. That's fair. So yeah, he's just gonna keep an eye on them. That's good. All right. And he's gonna look see that everyone's get is out and go. All right. Time to get moving. Kelly, I think... Honestly, he's going to think back to the fact of the figure he saw, because I imagine even though he doesn't know what he is, he can just feel the absolute power coming off of this thing, right? Oh, yeah. He's going to look at Kelly and Dally and go, all right, we're not going to get Abigail right now. We're going to just get the hell out of here. What did you see? I don't know. And that's what terrifies me. It... Mm -hmm. We got to make sure these people are safe. That's the first top priority right now. Room. How bad does does Callie want to get to Abigail? That is the question. But also, Callie understands that people are priority. And doesn't mind leaving this hellish place that she has been able to leave in a month and a half. All right. Also, Marcus, he's like, yeah, there's something literally worse than Abigail, and we gotta get going. We gotta go. You can't... Like, uh, roll a persuasion check. Me? Yeah. Oh. And okay. um, Selkie, roll a constitution check. Constitution check. Yeah. Okay, persuasion. I think I actually. Oh yeah, I do have that. Uh. Crap. That's gonna be a thirteen. I have a fifteen. Crap. You still want to find Abigail? All right, we're still gonna find her. Your desire I, to stop the I need she's up to, to punch this bitch out. at least once. Nope, no, no, no. It's need my to punch mom. Her at least That's not your mom. We're not, not mom. going to call her your mom. No. But I... she did the, the the lightning that brought me into life. That that was. Not... And my other mom put me together. That mm, no. Other mom. Other mom. What? We're not. Yes. At. Cat my... Callie? What the what? This She's is getting... my mom's house. Yeah, and we have to leave your mom's house because your mom's kind of a bitch. No, Callie, you But the bitch understand. is cool. <laughs> no <laughs> different. Okay, no. Different no. kind of She's she is okay, how do we put this? Uh she is She's a bet she's a mean person. That is she's a mean person. I was going to say see you next Thursday. You are but... not saying that to a day old. Hmm. She'll learn it eventually. 
Yeah, not right I now. I haven't even learned and... that. Markham, yeah. it's in the chat, my guy. <laughs> it is literally in the chat. <laughs> no, Callie, to you. Callie, you do not understand. This thing sucks. Oh, it just Oh, clicked. my God. There. I thought oh. Taurus was oh, saying he was heading out for the night. Me too. <laughs> oh. How, how We're are you playing on innocent? Thursday. What do you expect me to think? <laughs> I know, me too. Okay, well, how are then you why would he say that? Because we're going to see him tomorrow. Okay. I don't know. I was confused That's what too. Confused me. <laughs> you two, I love you two so much. You're like siblings to me. But how the hell are you more innocent than me? How? Listen. How did I? How did I literally explain it I don't in know. the chat? Yeah, and you still read I think it. We we grew up in the same alternate universe from the rest of these people, and we just got bamfed over here at some point. Hey. Listen. Continue. <laughs> anyway, no. So he's gonna go. Cal, this thing saw us freeing the prisoners and it just smiled that is then what it's dumb or like maybe no. he's in on it like no, it could be anything i need to hit abigail at least once for what she did to me markham what i almost said milo would mm -hmm. marcus be able to tell like <laughs> if, this, if this thing was like Hostile, evil. Give me an insight check. Give me insight. a vibe check. Vibe check. Vibe check this bitch. Vibe check. Vibe check the creepy figure. That is going to be a vibe check. God. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Ooh, big old vibe check. It's definitely gonna be hostile to someone, but it does not appear to be hostile to them. But See, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That thing may not be mad at us right now, but I feel like that thing is going to be mad at us eventually. So, and we then we'll need... deal with it whenever it's mad at us eventually. Like you can't just like yeah. plan for these things. You know, you can't you can't put yourself in time out if you haven't committed a crime yet. I have several people that today, not today, a few weeks ago, have actively denied that. Anyway. But we gotta get make sure these people get out alive. That is the top priority. I want to get Abigail too, but we gotta make sure these people are safe. That is the first and top priority. If you want to go save the people, and I'll go find Abigail, that's fine. I just, just... found you. I am not letting you out of my own damn son. <sighs> I mean, technically, you didn't find us. You just appeared right in front of us. Not so... right. Now. Maybe my other mom can help. Sweetie, I don't... <sighs> is your <sighs> other mom less of a bitch? What is your well, other mom? Now I have a bit of confusion. Is bitch... Hmm. Do we want... Okay, her just... To be... No, sweetie, just... Is your, is your other mama, not the other one, not this one. The one not Abigail. Right not Abigail. Is the other mama a nice person or is she a mean person? Well, I thought they were both very nice people. She put me together and she brought me back to life. Oh, that's for dinner. <laughs> All right. Let's just make sure the people are together. We'll try and find Abigail. Rough her up a bit. And get the hell out of here. Alright? Hallie told me to watch you, and that's what I'm going to do. The who? Oh, right. Uh, new mm, goddess. New goddess. That I am worshipping. What? Why did you stall yourself? What? What? Nothing. I, I didn't stall myself. What are you... I think you stalled yourself. I, I, you, I did not. You delayed, delayed a little there. I did not. No. I noticed that as well. No, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's go. You want to punch Abigail, right? Let's go punch Abigail. Let's go. Yeah, let's give go. her. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, damn good punch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maniacal teenage laughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Uh, where yeah. are you guys heading into then? 
Well, he's. Uh, he's where else can we go from here that isn't going towards the angry man? Yeah, well, making sure people are all right, too, because they will be tagging along with us. We'll just keep them out of harm's way. Uh, hmm. I know Coraline. Do I know anything about Histon? Make a history check. Okay. Mm. Seven. <laughs> oh, no. no, not really. No. You know no, no, that, no, no, that she has a uh, boyfriend, and that's about it. Mama's got a boyfriend. Is that my dad, or is that me? <laughs> you haven't gotten to that point yet where you, you can call yeah, him dad. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Emotions no, are it's still my a bit weird. He on hasn't. That one. He okay. Hasn't, he hasn't come home yet. <laughs> okay, I have two moms <laughs> and a new dad. And me, <laughs> basically. Yep. New dad, new sister. Well, depressingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Everyone's getting new family members today. Rip. Not old. I didn't even make it to friend zone. I just got immediately sister zone. Oof. Yeah. She didn't sister zone you. Your dad sister zone you <laughs> to her. <laughs> dad oh, sister. Oh, really? You brought home this really cute kid. You can be siblings. <laughs> What's up? No, dad, what? I brought home a date. You can be siblings. Dad, I'm adopting dad, no. her. This, I'm adopting you. This is your new sibling. Dad, no. How to officially make sure your kid doesn't date. This is yep. this is how it happens whenever your mom like mom gets with your boyfriend's dad. Over oh gosh. No. That happened once. I saw it happens a lot. No, no, no. Like someone I actually knew uh, of a kid who went on oh. this rant because their parents didn't like them dating. So their parents are like, listen, we're both single, unattached. Let's just get married. They had a courthouse wedding and they're like, now your siblings, you can't date anymore. Uh. <laughs> This is good. That's, That's gonna get so very petty. anime. And That's immediately so the kids petty. are like, "We were dating before you two That's even so considered petty. this plot. So now, guess what? We're still dating, and now we're just in the same house." This is literally a, this is this is an so H anime. Petty. I swear, this is like an H <laughs> anime somewhere. And um, yeah. So I don't know what ended up happening with them. I didn't really keep in touch. That was so years ago in high yeah. school. Okay. <sighs> do I make do I make the joke? I'm gonna... Don't do it. Don't, don't do it live. <laughs> don't do it live. Put it in chat. So, um, before Matt embarrasses us all. Uh, <laughs> us all. Us all? More, than, more than us I all? already do I'm with doing my good. lack of knowledge of life. Um. Uh, there's still... Make another perception check for Marcus. Or just everyone right. now. Everyone gets okay. a perception check. Everyone gets perception. That's Ooh. a fine joke. That's, That's a 19. 13. 13. That is a... What is my perception? That is a 24. Okay. <laughs> there appear to be... <laughs> I appreciate you, Matt. There Thank appears you. to so be much. some sort of ritual <laughs> in the next room going on. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> we should go there. No, we should There's not. <laughs> Sounds like a grand old plan, because you know who does rituals? Abigail. True. That then, yeah, dumb. Abigail, no, 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 like, re like, real talk, though. Abigail did tell Callie about yeah, performing your ritual. the rituals that she was getting ready to Yeah, do. so that would track Callie. was like, ooh, ritual happening? Abigail, he's right there. Come here. I see you. Yep. So we're going to go to that room. Oh, All right. Gosh. Okay. Be careful. I will not. Okay. Well, it. <laughs> Roll a new ready. character. <laughs> <laughs> he has a spell ready for when shit go goes ahead. down. Give me your empty threat. 
No, no, no. He he just annihilated me. I didn't even get to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had plenty of chances to have a change of heart. Once the ritual began... That does not count. <laughs> well... Really? It does not like count. Six months of, hey, you could be a better person and not do this. Does not count. From literally yeah. tons of people. <laughs> like, literally, how many people are in this campaign? Six? Yeah. So you had five people? She spent like 90% of the time, though, not with those people. She by spent choice. 90% of the time with people who were making her worse. <laughs> yeah, by choice. And like the 10% add. was. And the ten percent was Marcus trying to be like, all right, let's just try not to, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, Callie barges on ahead into the room. Hello. Um, you now see this this figure, his his inky black tail just kind of licking around. The tail raises almost like mm. the tail is looking at you, oh, and he gross. slowly kind of turns his head back around, almost owl like. How far he's able to turn his head around. Extra gross. Does does he recognize that this is the guy that they just saw? Uh-huh. He's standing right in front of this one portal. And through that portal, you can see... Just, he's. It seems to be a bird's eye view over this burning city. There seems to be a massive battle going on down below. It's I nighttime there. Is. There is... All hell is breaking loose at wherever that is. And you you could swear you hear a chuckle from him. As he turns around, cracks his neck, rolls his shoulders, and steps through. The tentacle Wait. tail kind of reaching out and grabbing the edge of the portal and kind of tugging at it like one would pull a curtain. And it closes behind him. Callie? Yeah? We're getting the fuck out. Now. In this room, there is a very intricate ritual set up. Around it are, I believe, seven pedestals, if I remember correctly. And on the seven pedestals are seven different obsidian statues. It takes you guys a moment, but then you recognize six of them are six of the missing kids from the shipwreck. Mm. What the and the fuck? seventh is holding this, well, it seems to be growing from her hand, this purple crystalline structure that almost looks like crystallized flames. And resting on that is a book that seems to be bound with some sort of skin. That is full on Necronomicon shit. And it's a Necronomicon. reading it, perfectly cast in Obsidian, is Abigail. Damn, I didn't get to hit her. You can, can hit the hit stitch. <laughs> I can still hit her. <laughs> I don't think she's going to feel it. Some... You know what? Damage. Not... You take that damage. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Abigail appears to be looking not quite at the book though her head is slightly tilted and she's looking across the room and across the room there's a portal to this place with rolling grassy hills beautiful mansion in the distance it's night sky there. You can actually see the sky there, mm. which is a very good clue. It's not anywhere around here besides the grass and the intact mm. building. This is... My house. And I keep trying to bring it to make it all connect. Right. And then you hear a shriek and something crackling in the other oh. room. Oh. I think. Yes, you do. Gonna go find that because I have a feeling it's a dumb bitch who didn't follow us. Azzy? Is Azzy with us? No. 
Huh, well, hmm. I have a feeling who's screaming. Uh, he's gonna look. Where's Azzy? Thought she was right behind you. Thought she was behind you. No, I have Dahlia behind me. Yeah, he's gonna look for her. Like, where the hell did she go? In the room behind you, Azani is standing over by the door. Just kind of leaning on the alchemy table. Just like, mm -hmm. you guys ready to go? You didn't uh, hear, yes. that, hear that screeching? Oh, no, no, I did. I did. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, we're going to get the hell out of here. Yeah, we should go. Just don't knock Dahlia's mom over. I'm guessing this is your mom. And right next to her is a uh, stone statue of Coraline. Oh, stone? Yeah. Wait, I can restore that. She looks very confused and like she was actively walking through the door. Wait, I think I can restore her. Uh, uh no, no. Dally. <laughs> Wait, I just want to Dalia. see. Can Sweetie. I be then? Please, summer child. Yes. Baby girl. Is greater restoration do it? Oh my god. Is she put? Yeah, she I can. <laughs> I can't. can. <laughs> she's just gonna walk up. She's. Like, this is my mother. Yeah. Oh great! Mm -hmm. We can shrink her down. Bring her with us. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, but I can just yeah. fix it right now. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't. No, All right. no I, don't do that. No, Dally. Why not? Dahlia. Uh, because Dahlia, your mother, that both of your mothers. Now that I know that it is both of your mothers, both of your mothers are the bad kind of bitch, as in the bad person. As in, if she is freed, she will trap us and not do very nice things to us. We should get going. But she's not me. She just put me together. Yeah, and that was and, a very nice thing that she did. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, one good thing does not negate the possible thousands of bad things that she did. Plus, she <laughs> entrapped all those people inside that room with you against their will. That's not very nice. But maybe having a child will make her realize that she has more responsibilities. Oh, sweetie, I wish it were that simple. Some people are just idiots. Okay, if she... we can bring her with us, if it'll if it'll keep her quiet, and we can because I don't think she's going to be the first you know, the last one up here. But we can't just free her. Can Can we just shrink her? Callie, do you oh, still but have she's that jar nice. you took? Uh, the one that I was keeping. Yeah. Can I First... have it? I guess. Callie, give her your jar. I was keeping it for a snack. Callie, give her the Fine. fucking jar. Oh, um, I fell over in a bunch of bottles. I think I have a lot of glass in my hands if you want some. Ow. <laughs> ow. Um, She's, ow. Curly, you are, okay? Are, are, do do that you need me really to heal painful. that? Yeah, no, it doesn't well, hurt. Okay. I, I, I'll You're get him out. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll get him out. She's very weird. Um, <laughs> she, she, she shrinks down. Um, are there snacks? She shrinks down Coraline and just, just for me, though. plops her in there and screws the lid back on. There you go. Happy. Here, you can hold her. Just don't drop it. She like, holds it. Um, wait, but we didn't restore her. She's stone. Right. <laughs> she's, just, she's just a tiny, she's like a little, you can shake her around and we made a little maraca. Uh, Alright, okay. we should go because, oh, shit. You guys hear a clambering of weapons as it sounds like Coraline called out the guards, finding her lab in shambles. 
and they are currently engaged in combat with the I other thought... escapees downstairs. I thought Coraline was in the jar. Who do we have in the jar? You did. But she found... She... What? She was coming from somewhere. And she became stone? How? You don't know yet. What the fuck? We will investigate that perhaps this time next week. My mom, take her out of stone, please. (laughs) (laughs) Give the kid more trauma. Not gonna happen, sweetie. Ah, she's so cute. I love Dahlia. She is. is. I love Dahlia too. too. So cute. All right, uh, outros. Uh, Let's start with uh, Callie. I'm going to start with me, the one who's known for uh, unsubtly okay, name dropping we'll everything. You. Uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Formerly Abigail? Question mark? My or name is Dahlia. I play Dahlia. <laughs> yeah. The Whoa, absolutely new... sweetest bean. Yes. The newest bean. Matt? Uh, I play Marcus, the ever... <laughs> Ever I don't even know what to say. Ever simping, yes, definitely ever simping. Ever like, simping, gains girlfriends cl- and children. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, born stellar. Yep. Just he's not even. He doesn't even know Milo, and he's already following his footsteps. Listen, <laughs> he's chill. he's co- he's collecting women of all kinds. Okay, he's child, collecti- children. Not, not really all kinds. The true just, simps. They're like, hi God, I love you. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. Give me power. To, to and be fair, some though, people he send has back their one. Lyrics. To be fair, he has one type of woman, and that is a holy woman. And that's the only two okay. women he is currently simping for right now. And you gained two daughters. Yep. yep. Well, to so, be fair, Callie was kind of already sort of his daughter, but but now you lost he has another son. daughter. Yeah. But we did lose our son. <laughs> lost our son, gain a daughter. Yep. Sir Proteus Wellington. It's Proteus. Yep. We did a name Proteus. drop and he's not even here. That's uh Right. That is bull. <laughs> How cruel of me. How cruel. All right. Um and lastly, Callie. Now I'll go because I am always the last one and I always do the unsubtle name drops. And shameless plugs. Um, mm. you can the blameless shugs. The blameless shugs. Exactly. And so everybody who is watching the Lost Continent can come back to the channel of the End Denial. Come back here this time, not this time, a little earlier from now. A little earlier. A little earlier. I mean, from we'll now, still tomorrow. be going if they come at this time. They'll just walk in in the middle of an argument between Sirith and. Probably Bajra. Ahote or Sirith and Bajra or we're Far and not Bajra friends. or Ellen and Bajra <laughs> or the bear and Bajra or the sky and Bajra <laughs> or a god so and Bajra. It could be anybody. So Let's... Bajra arguing. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Welcome to tomorrow's or episode. Or smashed by fight. demons. Yes, that's true. He did mention that someone might die. He, yep, as he always does, you can come see... Uh, Naz and our lovely DM, who is going to be a player tomorrow during Legend of Kralis, DM'd by our lovely Nerd Dad, who has been in the chat trolling us yep. and giving us <laughs> shit all night, but we love him for it. We do. And we're ready to start a fight. We're ready to start a riot. I'm ready to go back into combat because I have new toys to play with. I have to finish building my bow. I've got, what is it? So you want to start a war is stuck in my head. It's a good song. Let's start a riot. Uh, yeah, anywho, you can come right. back and see us. Right. You can come back and see us tomorrow for all of that shenanigans of your one and only, your wonderful, lovable team chaos. Uh, and yeah, you can come. And I think Dan's now has a whole bunch of things. They've been streaming so many, so many things. They have one like going like every day. I see a little notification of Dan's now going live like every day now. So if you like D and D, you like TTRPGs, you like us come back come back and see us yep she's like not, and subscribe she's not wrong yep yep like and subscribe <laughs> we got <laughs> like island adventures on mondays uh ye- what is the new one uh state of the union state of on the Tuesdays. union um us lost continent on thursdays legends of kralis 
not Kralis, Kralis, on Kralis. Friday. Took me a while to learn that. Uh, and then bi-weekly, we have um, uh, not Magic the Gathering. Um, no. I know it. I know it. Rumors of Magic. You play um, in it. I know I play in it. But it's been a couple <laughs> weeks, therefore my brain has purged that my brain hits clear cash every week. Yeah, we so see if that. I don't do it on a weekly basis. It, it's Hickey, gone. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, and then rumors of magic on Sundays every other week. Um, so yeah, definitely come check these various games out. Stories. Stories out. Stories Amazing and... stories. Awesome players. Um, and Hickey, three Hickey, of Hickey. us will see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. hopefully, if we don't get killed in combat. Cause... Bosra will never die. None of us and will I'll... ever die. I don't stand and by that. Now, and now my cat is hiding behind my laptop screen. <laughs> Bosra, <laughs> Bosra and Var are too angry to die. Yeah, just, <laughs> I believe just it. so you know. Say hi, Kitty. Hello, hi, I love you. It's I love baby. Kiki. Great. Now he's hi, got Kiki. a challenge that he's accepted. That's fine. Come at me, Here's bro. The thing. I will finish building and my... Ellen are going to be the ones to die because they're not the angry immortal ones because you two challenged him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hi, Kiki. Everybody's fine. No one will ever die. Everything's fine. I, Nothing we, can we go wrong. We need to find awesome. a fuck ton of wood to knock on right now. No. It's okay. Grounds I'm wood. fed. Grounds wood. I'm just going to start. Okay. We'll just <laughs> never die. We'll just Ever. never die. Ever. Nope. It's okay. Once I build my bow, everything is going to be fine. True. <laughs> Team Chaos Unkillable. We just argue so much that we make <laughs> the bad guys uncomfortable. Yeah, see, can we see can't that. we can't die by anything Talarius throws at us because we'll just kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really the ultimate end. <laughs> like, like a true, true sibling. Nobody can kill you, but I can, so you better not touch them. You yeah. would have killed <laughs> Ellen if your alignment had not been uh, evil or evilish at the time. Because mm. because that gave me a pl- a bonus to all my attacks and defenses against you because of his. I have never gone full. Time. I've never gone full evil. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh, you had very o- opposing views. Being very being oppositional does not make me evil. No, fair enough. Oh God. Self TPK. Maybe I read that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, night friends. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Gracie. Night. <laughs> Good night, friends. You guys night, stay Elio. safe. Um, don't stay destroy lost. each other and stay, stay lost. lost. Yep. We'll stay see you lost. tomorrow night for Legends of Kralis. <laughs> Cheerio. Don't do forget to check your purse for teeth. Yes. Don't forget to check. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> don't. don't forget to check your check purse your for purse. teeth.